Hey y'all, <laughs> welcome to the Burger Plant Show. If you're new here, thank you for joining us. If you're returning, thank you for coming back. You're dope. And today we have Kadeen. Hey. Kadeen, I've known Kadeen for 2016? Yes, yeah. We've known each other for a mm-hmm. while. We went to the same church and we kind of... Not we lost contact because you know, sometimes you just keep up with people on social media and yeah, that's about right, it. Right. But doing this, show, I was like, yo, I had made a list of people I would love to just talk to and just chop mm-hmm. up, um, chop with, and I would just say, Kadeen's yeah, definitely one of those because okay. she is extraordinary. Thank you. She, Thank you for having me. I'm so glad you came. <laughs> okay, guys, like I'm not even trying to guess, but this woman, she's going to go through it. Okay, but like I said, this woman does a lot. Okay, talk about entrepreneurship. Being that boss lady, but a believer, and then God lead you, that's her, okay? So we're going to go into all of that. Yes. But before we do, let's talk about where we're going to be in today. Yeah, I asked Kadeen. Yes, I asked Kadeen. I said, I said, Kadeen, what you want to eat? She Lobster. Said, <laughs> She's on <Thank> you. <laughs> I said, I'm going to get you one lobster. I said, all right, bet. What kind of lobster and what? She said, I was just joking. I said, I was yeah, ready. Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, I was going to do that I was ready. Even. I haven't had lobster in a while. I was ready. But she said, nah, anything that, but is not. Red meat. That's not, why don't you like red meat? I don't really eat red meat. I don't really like how it tastes. Oh. To me, it tastes like. Like too much iron. Really, I never yeah. heard that reason. Yeah. Hmm. I don't like the way it tastes. But you probably don't like the taste of that bl- all that blood, right? No. Interesting. But I do like oxo. So that's okay. an exception. So I eat that like once a year, twice a year. That's it. Yeah. Three the times a year, year maybe. Ooh. Maybe four times. <laughs> maybe ten times. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> But yeah, that's really? the only thing. Yeah, I don't eat wow. red. Mm-hmm. But some because we do red meat, but we do lamb a lot. Okay, I'll do lamb. We are big on lamb. Yeah, I but wouldn't cook it though. Oh, you wouldn't cook it? No, Why? I don't know how to cook it. Oh, so this, you know what? I'm <laughs> try, no, I'm starting to realize a lot of people people don't do lamb, and mm-hmm. I because a lot of people don't know how to cook it. But the same yeah. way you make. Well, I don't know if you cook beef. I don't really no, eat no, beef no. like that. But the same way you make steak, it's the same thing. It's just the lamp is such a oh. softer meat, so you don't cook it for I'll that I'll buy lamp. it from the halal. I'm going to have to the make it. You shouldn't have told me that. I should have made your lamb instead. Yeah, you should have. Okay. Next, Next time. time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yeah, but red meat, I would do beef because sometimes when I'm low on iron, my body will start mm. craving beef. I think a lot of people are low on iron because we don't eat a lot of... People don't have that in their diet like yeah. that anymore. Yeah, so mm-hmm. I do red meat then. But yeah. today, we are going to do fish tacos. Okay. Okay. So we got a cilantro, purple onions, but y'all call it red onions. I don't know why. <laughs> uh, purple cabbage, tomatoes, lime. This is creamy avocado. You made this? Yeah, I made this. Oh, nice. Yeah, creamy avocado, tortillas. This okay. I don't like corn tortillas. Okay. This is flour tortilla. That's okay. a difference. Wait, you made that too? No, I didn't make Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> but I will learn how to make it because it's really not that hard. It's probably like three or four ingredients. But this is flour tortilla. Okay. Corn tortilla, it has this jumpy texture, so I don't like it. Is that the, the fl- yellow one? Yeah. Okay, yeah. The yeah. flour tortilla is a smoother, so I like this one. And for the fish that we are um, going to be eating, um, it's not filet because I don't have the knife to filet any fish, but <laughs> we're going to do a regular, road, traditional, homemade. But this fish is sea bass. Why I chose sea bass? Because it's, it's buttery. Oh. Wow, what you I feel say? special because I'm here today. But, <laughs> no, it is no counter no, special. Wait, 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 wait. The sea bass. You go to a restaurant, you order no, sea, sea bass. It's just melting it's, them out. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. But and I never see, cooked it. Which is not that hard. Oh, but I like the I like the butteriness because it'll go yes, well yeah. with tacos. Okay. But sea bass sometimes it'd be a little. I never had thing. homemade tea bass. We gonna have to. Oh, I usually just order it when I go out. Stop. Okay. It's cheaper. <laughs> oh, it's I'm cheaper. I'm sure. I'm sure. Because I think. For these two, it's like sixteen dollars. Oh yeah, when I go to the right. yeah, yeah, do the math. Right. Yeah, I'm trying to save nowadays. Too, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> let's dig in. Okay. And the water is so good. I love water. Yeah, we got yeah. sign into water. My favorite, so favorite drink. I, <laughs> I said, cause then you want salsa. What she said, do you drink salsa? I don't Mm-mm. drink that. Whoa. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah, what the fuck, Kadeem? She's hilarious. <laughs> but what makes it more funny is she be dead serious. <laughs> I don't know. I never like salsa water. Mm-mm. I got into it. You know why? Unless I'm don't mixing it with something. But then I'll because be soda. Yeah. I like beer. Oh, yeah. A lot of people. I well, do. 
It has to be the flavor beer. Mm, they got that? I think so. Mm. Yeah, Kevin buys it. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. No, I like like Miller Light. I like that. They're oh, no, like, I don't like this. It's too bitter. Miller Light is bitter. I don't know. It smells bitter. <laughs> <laughs> it's not as bitter as Corona and the rest of them. But I like. Mm. They're called like the champagne of beer. Mm. It's a very so so. so I don't want to drink beer, so salsa water is a good replacement. Because mm. I like beer because of the fizz. Really? Yeah, but I don't want oh. soda, so it's like that oh, fizz. Oh right, right. You know, beer, beer actually give you a lot of breast milk. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm oh. when I was breastfeeding, I went to um a staff outing and I had beer. When it came, my drink was like really, and I googled it. it so why the doctors don't tell us to drink beer? I mean, because I don't know if you can feed your child after oh, that. Oh yeah, because of the wheat, because <laughs> beer is made. <laughs> well, yeah, it's made out of wheat. Because they said it have everything else. Hmm. Well, it's yeah. too late. I would never know. Cause I'm not having no more kids. That's what she said. <laughs> Until God, listen. No. My friend said the same thing. Ne next thing you know, another baby. No, oh no, no, no. I know. Are you? Oh yeah, yeah, I'm done. You cut? Yeah. You no, no, I'm not cut. No. Wait, oh. what? <laughs> no. You, you do no, I didn't do nothing. Head. I just know I'm not. What if God said? So because so I'm on birth control. You know them kids that and came out holding stuff. Huh? You no know kids, the people still. Oh yeah, I know, but no, 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 I'm not. But what if God is funny and he said, um, he, "What if he watches this episode? He's like, let me see. What you gonna do? He would have to like come in my dreams and like tell me. Why don't you want another one? I don't want another one because, so ladies and gentlemen, so, <laughs> so I have a business, right? Yes, yeah, talk about it. And I feel like, so I have two kids, four years old, and Maybe. how old is Kev? Six years old. I don't know the age because their birthday just passed. I have to remember now that they're like, You're wait, really your mother. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, right, and that too. So yeah, so I'm like, I feel like I cannot... I don't have the capacity to, I feel like it wouldn't be fair to myself to have, have another kid. I should be looking at you, right? Not the camera. Nope, oh, okay, okay. So I feel like I don't have the capacity to like, or it wouldn't be fair to have another kid because like, I feel You're like busy. once I have, yeah, that I'm very, very busy, but I just feel like because I'm so busy and my business is my first baby, well, it was my first baby, mm -hmm. that I feel like I pour so much into it that I neglect other things in my life. Mm. So to have more kids, I feel like now I have like like a little anxiety now. Mm. I call it anxiety. I think it's like I, no one. The doctor didn't tell me it was. Mm. I just feel like I have anxiety. Really? Like being with my kids like by myself. Like Kevin always say. Well, my husband always says to me, "Why you always like go crazy when you have to be be by the, be with the kids by yourself?" Mm. And I'm like, I can't handle that by myself. Mm. Like I get why like you, why yeah, I did because. I what? don't know, cause he's like, it's so easy. I could do it without you, and I'm like, not me. Like I get like, yeah, I don't know. You know the crazy thing is, it's not uncommon, cause it been times where, if Damon have to go somewhere, mm -hmm. and I gotta be with Zion by myself, I get just a little anxious. Mm -hmm. Not because I, I mean, you see, not good. that I can't yeah, handle. Yeah. It's just like, I think my anxious. I don't want to give power to the word anxious, but mm -hmm. I think that little nervousness come from cannot entertain them him for that long mm, mm -hmm. that's when my anxious right right come. you know what i'm saying because it's like oh, okay i don't want you to watch tv all day that's and it's so easy it's so easy i know so my know. my nervousness is like oh, how long can i entertain yeah yeah yeah, you before yeah no, it's I true come to see tv right it's true is that your that's where your anxious come from or it's just like um i just feel like i got so much to do and to just like like my daughter likes me to do a lot of things with her mm -hmm. like drawing play dolls and i i don't I don't have mm -hmm. the patience to sit and play and mm -hmm. do homework and just do things mm -hmm. because I feel like I have a hundred things I need to do mm -hmm. for the business. Mm -hmm. And then like even with traveling, like yeah. I feel like you have a bigger family. Mm -hmm. It's already expensive to travel with all four of us. Mm -hmm. So I think about, am I able to provide that for like another kid? Like I would hate to like take away and not have so the at work, that makes sense. It does make oh. sense, but what I'm hearing is a lot of I, I, I. I know. And there's almost this might like, be a therapy session. <laughs> Mine. It's like a therapy Mine. session. It's almost a lot of it I, is. I. Yeah, it, it is. yeah, you probably are anxious because it's like you're trying to do it alone. And mm -hmm. Jesus said, my burden and my yoke is light. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to carry yes. if you're thinking that you have to do it on your own. Right. Like, even giving the example of the whole baby. I was, for a little bit, I was... Yeah. 
almost down to tears, like nervous, yeah. like I don't know. Da, da, da. Right. Not only is it expensive. I mean, honestly, the expenses was not even the issue. My biggest issue, it was not trusting somebody Someone else. Be, you know what I'm right. trying to say? Then I realized, I said, wait, hold on. God yeah. is my father. Right. He knew this day would come before he even mm. blessed us with his child. Why right. am I stressing? Right. And look how everything work, worked out. Right. So it's like, it at some you. point, you... Hopefully Kevin doesn't watch this. I hope you do. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you sound like you're trying to do it on your own without God. Mm. That's why you're so... It might be why you're so anxious you're and right. struggling. Oh, you're right. Yeah, you might have to just be like, all right, God, if you... Not even just another kid, just with these two kids. Show me what oh, to do. my life. Oh, your life. Yeah. Show me what to do. Like I, That was my prayer this morning. Yeah. Wow. Because it sounded like that you were trying to do it alone. And yeah. that's a lot. That was my prayer. And yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because okay. she runs a dope esthetician. She's been doing this, guys, for a while. Mm -hmm. No shade to those who just started. But this is somebody that we do. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Shame. But she's been yeah. doing this for as long as I've known you. You've mm -hmm. always been doing this, and she's great at it, okay? And before she got married, before she had, this is what she was doing. Mm -hmm. So it's right. like, it is. Right. So it was hard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But I think at the end of the day, my, mo my mother always said this. She want to make sure that she raised me right and raised me in the Lord because when the time comes, God is going to ask you, those kids I gave you, that gift I gave mm -hmm. you, what did you do with it? Mm -hmm. Him, you growing those babies, the humans are going mm -hmm. to affect this world is more important than... Right. The I'm business is the avenue. Let's pay my bills. Like, that's the thing. True. Yeah. I mean, we got, we got bills to pay. A lot. This is very, it's very ridiculous. true. However, once again, you're carrying a lot of load on your own. Mm -hmm. And... When we were talking about what is going to last, your legacy is your children mm -hmm. and your children's children's children. Right. So, granted, bills do need to get paid, but how the time you spend with them, the things you let them experience, whatever, that mm -hmm. will last forever. Right. Because let's just say, not that you were done, let's just, let's just say Zion, I'm, I don't spend time with him, I never pay him any mind, I'm always doing my own thing. Right. And he grows up now, he's affected by how mm -hmm. I raised them. Now his kids are affected, and right. his kids' kids are. Right, so you right. gotta think generational. Well, in defense to me, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't neglect my kids. Like, no, you don't. Yeah, no, they be <laughs> I out. I try to do a yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They be out. Um, they actually would have been here with us too. Oh, if, but she came. <laughs> no. So in okay. my defense, my daughter wants me to buy a house with a pool. So I tell oh. every day, mommy's going to work so to buy a house, buy a house with, with a pool. pool. Yeah. Like, you're going to have to make it happen. No, I know. I told her I have to work hard. Like, mommy has. So so she understands that. Uh -huh. Thank God. Yeah. So she's going to have to yeah. buy a house. So that means you don't have to, to leave home. New York. You have to leave New York. I know. Because New yeah. York ain't going like, to be Like, that's her home. thing. Whenever, like, she has to draw something for school, anything, it's always a house with a pool. Oh, my God. I know. That's what she really wants? Yeah. That is so cute. I know. Yeah. Yeah, New York ain't going to give you a pool. They're going to give you a tub. I know. <laughs> but you're not going to so get So that's a pool. my motivation right now. I'm like, okay. I got to, like, give yeah. her a house. I want to, yeah. Isn't it? It's so crazy because I feel like it was that. If it, I wish it was that easy. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I feel like it is just not here. You believe it, but it just works. not here. I know. New York kind of. No, no, no. It. I don't want to buy a house here anyway. Yeah. I don't. Mm -mm. There's God. no way I desire to live in New York. If I don't live yeah. in Brooklyn, I don't. I don't. I, oh, you want to stay in Brooklyn? No. Oh. But I'm but saying, I don't, don't want to be in Brooklyn. If I don't stay in New York, if I don't, if I cannot stay in Brooklyn, I don't want to go anywhere in New York. I'd rather just leave the state. Oh, okay, okay. Because, like, outside of Brooklyn, no shade to other state, uh, other um, boroughs, but it's like... Yeah. I don't want to go to Jersey because it's Jersey. No. no shade to Jersey. No? Shade. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind going to Jersey. No. Mm. You... No. Why? Toll? No. Not even... I'd, oh. I'd rather go to Maryland. I yeah, now Jersey. you have that in my head, so I'm, I'm going to look into Maryland. Damn, like a people, drive. All back. my people leaving to Maryland. Oh really? My cousin just bought a house in Maryland. Yeah, she loves it. She loves my it. My uncle has a beautiful house in Maryland. Yo. Gorgeous house. Yo. Mm -hmm. But I feel like New York make you feel like we you haven't go. accomplished anything in life because everything's so dang on expensive. But in reality, like we could live so much better somewhere so else. Better. Yeah, I know. And we could that give makes me babies. sad. With pools, yeah, because you know what they say? Oh, stay in New York because it's a city that never sleeps. Now we sleeping. Now mm -hmm. the city sleeps. Mm -hmm. And as a believer, I feel like we don't really get the benefits of New York because no, not at we all. don't go. Clubbing. Only people that visit, 
Right. We don't yeah. go clubbing. Is there clubs out here? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's clubs. Kadeen, there are clubs in here. Really? Oh. Kadeen. the pandemic. Well, all the clubs that I used to go to. Are closed down? I never heard. I haven't heard of it. Them clubs be out. They be open. No. Yeah. Clubs and bars. Out, okay. Used to be out mm-hmm. pre-Jesus. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so. <laughs> we had our time. Oh yeah, I was back then. Yeah, we yeah. had our time pre Jesus. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed my twenties a lot, too. like a lot. Yeah. Do you miss it? No. Good. Um. Wait. Only when I look at photos. I'm like, oh, I was cute back then. Yeah, you still. I cute don't know. Though. <laughs> no, I thought I. Yeah. So I just wish I was like the way I looked back then. It's not too late. Ain't nothing but a gym, a gym away. A gym away. Yeah. <laughs> She's a like, gym. I got the time. <laughs> the gym. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah. had fun. Yeah, the twins was good. Yeah. The twins was good. Mm-hmm. I remember. Ooh, yeah, it was good. Mm-hmm. Do I miss it? No, I like. I remember I just posted my Friday nights was watching people make bread like homesteaders and just. Oh, zion. now, now, yeah, and yeah, I'm okay yeah. with that. My, that was my Friday, and right, I'm okay right. with that. Yeah, I'm satisfied. No, I agree. Me too. Because what I miss, I miss. What do I miss back in the day? Just being free. Just. Getting okay. up, going out, come back home. Got to be yeah. up in two hours. I had the energy to do that. Yeah, no. I don't have the energy now. We now we got to take naps. Yo, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We have to yeah, take yeah. naps. Well, I don't, well, not naps. You know what? I can't take naps. Why? I don't know. I just can't take naps. Because you think too much? Maybe. You have a, a list of crap you have to do in your head? All the time. Damn, kidding. We got to figure it's this bad. out. We got to figure this out. But I don't take naps. I just don't get tired. Like, I'm tired, but I just can't go to sleep. Yeah, because your mind is running. Yeah. You're going to have to start leaving. You- Kadeen, we're going to have to... God, here, take this. It's too yeah. much. Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. Something. Yeah, because he's carrying a, a lot. A lot on my plate. Yeah, you're carrying a lot. I think I want to accomplish too much. I can understand that. I just feel like if I stop, I'm going to fail. No, that's F, not the true. F word. That's not true. <laughs> that's not yeah. true. Like, I feel like I want to like go backwards. Like, I have to keep moving, moving, moving. You know that's what? It, you know what? I think I, we spoke about this before. Not you and I, but <clears throat> another person that was on here. I feel like also New York has this hustle mentality. Oh yeah, a whole side we hustle, hustle till we die. Yeah, no. I mean, <laughs> no, seriously. And I've, I think I have come to a place in my life where I'm just like, I'm not doing that. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm a Damon always talk about living the South, and people were more connected to God, appreciate God more because mm. you get to stop. Right, right, and right. And just look around you and see what God created and really right. appreciate it. But Not out here. No, New York, we are I'm just going, going. Going, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. I, I'm, I, re- yeah. And you know why I think like that too? So during COVID, I lost my aunt during COVID. Mm. She died from COVID, yeah. And between 2020 and 2023. Your mom's sister? Yes. Oh. They both had COVID at the same time. And my mm. mother kept checking on each other. So it was wow. so hard to tell, like, yeah, one of y'all didn't make it. Imagine. Right. So between 2020 and 2023. I lost like seven family members, right? Mm. <clears throat> my uncle, my other uncle, they had just retired like three years before. Mm. They didn't even get to enjoy their life or retirement. Exactly. So I'm so big on, Enjoying I'm not now? going to work. Wait. Oh, work or wait? No, I'm not going to work to death. I'm not going right. to work so hard and wait for retirement because. Right, I agree. You might not have that much time after retirement. Right. You know, yes, work, that take care of your family. Take because the Bible says you have to take care of your family. However, and leave a home for your kids. Mm-hmm. That's it's biblical, right? However, mm-hmm. I'm not about to work so much that I miss out on life. I agree. You know, that's one thing I got better at being more intentional. Yeah, like I close out holidays now. Good. Yeah, I make sure that it'd be I, all right. There's other situations. Yeah. Probably. I make sure that I close or maybe work half a day the days that my kids are like home from mm-hmm. school, like. A little bit more intentional. Kevin may disagree, but I I see a big improvement in that area. For hey, me. we 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 celebrate the small wins. Yeah, right, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, yeah. So because before I would never, but mm. yeah, that's good. Better. So have you been balancing? First of all, how do you even get into being an esthetician? Like, how did you? Because you have your own. Business. Oh, how do I? How did, how did I? You, how did you? How did you oh, do it? So. I was meant to say, girl, we, 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 we be going. So I got into it. I got, so I became an esthetician because growing up, mm-hmm. I had, I suffered from acne mm-hmm. and acne had affected my self-esteem. And to the point where I would never forget this. I wish I actually knew the person that said this to me. I remember walking out of my building 
And back then I used to wear a ton of makeup. Mm. Like it was loud, like help. orange eyebrow. Like I said orange eyebrow. Orange eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Wait, why am I saying orange? Green eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Just really bold colors. And mm -hmm. I remember walking out the building and this guy was random was like, he was like, Mom, why are you wearing so much makeup? Like, mm -hmm. you don't need to wear all that makeup. And it hit me that day and I was like, I'm wearing all this makeup because I was hiding my face, mm -hmm. like my skin. Mm -hmm. And I remember even dating in my 20s that I never wanted to go, like if a guy asked me to go out, mm -hmm. I wanted to know where we were going. Mm -hmm. If it was a restaurant, I need to check the restaurant. I need to make sure that it was dim lights. Wow. It was so bad. If we went out on a date, I, I made sure I went out when the sun was going down. Yeah, it was really, Dang, really. Yeah, that's it was, a lot. Yeah, it was bad. So, and my mom is, well, my mom and dad is an esthetician. Um, my mom and my dad mm -hmm. are business owners. Okay. And my mom is in, she was doing colonics. Okay. And one of her clients saw my skin, and they, people always want to recommend things for your skin. One yeah. thing I want to say, when you see someone with, like, problematic skin, like, you don't have to give advice. Yeah, if they didn't actually require <laughs> Like, yeah, because all you're doing is pointing out the insecurity. So Yeah, that's a good point. She that's told good. me, Thank Yeah, you. so she told me, um, oh, you know, try, it out, try this, um, this school in the city. They do a lot of natural products. You should go there mm -hmm. and see if they can help you with your skin. Mm -hmm. I go to the school, mm -hmm. and I ended up saying, well, I want to actually attend the school. Yeah, oh, okay. So I went there to get help with my skin. I ended up saying, you know what, I actually want to learn, sign up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I said, as soon as I finish college, I'm coming. I think I had like either one more year. It was a short period of time. I, mm -hmm. I think I knew I was almost done with college. And I said, as soon as I'm done, I'm coming here. Mm -hmm. And yeah, as soon as I was done, like I think like a week later, I went to sign up. Mm -hmm. And went to aesthetic school. And that's when my skin got better. Because I started to learn about my skin, learn mm -hmm. about the food I was eating. Um, that's when I got my first chemical pill. And mm. once I did my chemical pill, that was it. That like was my face it. cleared up. Yeah. And um, that's how I got into it. Oh, okay. But I always knew. And then also, I missed a very important part. Back then, we didn't have anywhere to go to like, for facial. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't have anywhere. Yeah, no. So the only place that I had to, um, that were available for me was going into like another neighborhood, mm. which was like a Caucasian. Oh, so we said we girl keep it a stack. We was black people. Oh, black. Yeah. Oh, so you have to go to a white neighborhood to get. Have to go to white. <laughs> keep it a stack. I didn't know what to say. Oh, there's no PC over here. Yeah. yeah. So okay. basically, like in my, I'm from Flatbush, Brooklyn. So we didn't have that. All we had no, was we like did not. no at all. No. Like zero. Yeah, sneaker stores and 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 nail salons. So, yeah. Um, Popeyes. No, yeah, the stuff yeah, they put on. Yeah, yeah, but like we didn't have anywhere that did like lashes, mm -hmm. facials, and specific. Mm -hmm. So I went to like um, right, um, uh, Brighton that? Beach. No, no, no. Um, like Kings Highway. That with the Russians. Oh, is that okay? That's fine. Okay, I went to the Russian area, and that's who was doing my skin. Mm -hmm. Then I and then my mom had another client that went to get tattoo makeup. Uh, and back then it wasn't big how no, it is it now no. at all. So she's talking about this. So they, they've been knowing about this for a minute. Oh no, yeah, it's been around oh, for years. No, we just late to the party. We just late. Okay, so um, per usual. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so per usual. I went to this place in Queens and I was going there. Mm -hmm. but at the same time, someone recommended to go to dermatologist. Mm -hmm. Went to dermatologist the same time seeing this woman to do my face. The dermatologist recommended birth control and antibiotics for my skin. Oh, wow. I know you take birth control for... Yeah, for acne. Learning something new. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, you didn't know that for real? No. Oh, yeah. It's really, really good. Oh. But, but my mom didn't want me on it because she's like, she connects the two sex, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's like, uh-uh. No, my daughter don't need to be on that because mm -hmm. she's not having sex and she don't, you know? So uh -huh. She was like, no. I get it. So I went, so my, so the doctor gave me some like topical things to put on my face. So I go to my esthetician in Queens. Mm -hmm. I'm like, whatever you do today is fine, but we need to use this product that the, mm -hmm. that the dermatologist gave me. She kept telling me, no, 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 we can't use it. I said, he gave it to me. Like really? now, now my pores going to be open. Mm -hmm. Like I needed to like penetrate. And know you, you was very adamant. She listened to me because and my face was, it was like inflamed. The neck, when Ooh. it was, at this point, it was like brittle. Like I call oh. myself like a brittle face. It was so bad. It was so, literally in my entire face. Oh. So then I was like, hmm. So that's, so then after that, then I went to aesthetic school. Cause I was like, okay, I tried everything now. Mm. So I went back and I joined the school. I was so passionate about it. And I finished in like, you had to complete like 600 hours. I finished it at 
less than six months. Oh, you was because on. I was there all day. I was there part time, but I stayed from nine a.m. to nine p.m. Oh, you was on. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. were serious. The, yeah, I was uh. very serious. So I finished that and I got my um, what you call it, my temp license. Mm-hmm. I didn't even wait for the permanent license. Soon I got my temp license, I went and I started my business. Mm. That's what I saw. I end up, you know, starting. My and business. what was like the process? Because a lot of people trying to start their businesses now, mm-hmm. and it's easier said than done. What was the process of like going and starting your business? Like, do you save up money? Do you get a bank loan? Like, what was the process? That's a like? good question. Yeah, what was the right. Process of that? So for me, I never. I never took out a business loan. Good. So what I did, sorry. Right. So maybe I had a, a little um, help from my mom. And when I say Praise that. Praise God for good parents who help you it's out. It's true. It's, it's true. very needed. <laughs> what I mean by that is my mom had a space and she had a room that she wasn't using. And I asked her if I could use it. And she gave me the room. Mm-hmm. I used that. I didn't pay rent or anything. Amen to that. I know, right? Such a blessing. Yeah. What? I know back then she probably, she probably felt like I was like um, using, not using, like. Yeah, like using, like yeah, taking advantage. Sure. I'm, yes, I'm your child. I'm going to take yeah, advantage. Yeah, so I was working there, <laughs> had my own clients, and then back then Groupon was fairly new. So oh. when I got on Groupon, I got like, I was flooded with clients oh, wow. because when you looked on Groupon for like eyelash extensions or specifically eyelash extensions, mm-hmm. nobody was offering it. It was mm. so new. So I was getting all of those clients. And the great thing is, is that. I retain like 90% of those clients. Wow. And to it's this day? even more crazier that clients still come to me now that came to me from back then. That's cr- that's I loyalty. Know. I know. That's, you're doing your damn thing mm-hmm. because, you know, in this kind of business, people switch all the time. Right. So it's just, oh no, have- some, some stop, but they came right back. They came back home. Because <laughs> they know what's up. Right? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. And they tell me up to this day, because you know I found you on Groupon. And I was like, really? But so long ago, wow. I don't remember. Yeah. So yeah, and that's how I end up building my clientele yeah. back then. I think it's harder now because mm-hmm. Groupon is so. Yeah. Yeah. So you say that in order to do keep that clientele is know what the heck you're doing. What I'm mm-hmm. gathering from what you're saying, know what you're doing, be good at what you do, be great at what you do. I should Consistent say. too. Consistent. Yeah. And I think from a customer's perspective, mm-hmm. customer service. Right. Ciao. I know. So I won't say that like I'm I was the best because remember I didn't know anything about mm-hmm. customers so I never worked anywhere. Yeah, because you just came so out of college. So I'm learning mm-hmm. how to deal with people, and I was young. I think I was like 22. Mm. I was young. So meanwhile, I was getting drunk. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, <laughs> yeah. So I didn't know anything. So like, I'm I've gotten so much better now mm-hmm. with dealing with people. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think I have more patience now. Mm-hmm. I realize that, um, you know, some of us are a little cuckoo, mm-hmm. some people. So I just learn how to deal, deal with, with those people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some like people come in with attitudes and sometimes I just have to ignore it because it's, I have to remember it's not me. Mm-hmm. You right. know? They came in like this. Yeah, but so I'm just learning. I think I've gotten so much better throughout the years because mm-hmm. back then, like, I feed off of your energy. Mm. And um, if you came with an attitude, you have an attitude. I ain't really give it back. I just kind of shut down. And mm-hmm. people, equi- like, they they equate that to saying, like, oh, she has an attitude. She's not friendly and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But and you yeah. can't be. So, so I got advice to those who are trying to start their own or do have the business. Mm-hmm. You cannot let your customers affect right. how you move. Mm hmm. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah, because at the end of the day, regardless of how, they, regardless of how, because I'm te- I'm speaking from a teacher's perspective, mm-hmm. regardless of how they came in, mm-hmm. you are still expected to stay neutral. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? It's just what it is. Yeah, and I'm learning how to like um, divorce myself from clients. Like if someone, <laughs> like you know, my space is like it's very important that when yeah. someone comes into my space, like I don't want you to disrupt my spirit. You're right. You know, so if I feel a little like some people are a little off, or, mm-hmm. or it just. And how yeah? How learned, do you manage it as a believer? So I learned, I'm sure God spoke to you mo- many times. So there was this time where I had someone come in and. I don't remember the specific of like our conversation, but it was really, it was a weird conversation. She was into like, I don't know what they call like new age. Spiritualism. Yeah. Like just talking about like crystals and. Yeah. It was just mm -hmm. a weird conversation. And I remember when she left, Mm -hmm. I called my mom. I was like, mom, I'm scared to walk in my space in the back. I said, somebody left here and I just felt really. They left the spirit there too. 
Mm. Yeah, it was like the weirdest feeling. My mom was like, I need you to walk in that space and rebuke it and Amen. pray and all that. And I've never been like, I like she left and I didn't want to go in the back. Yeah, because she left something there. <laughs> it was she can't. weird, but I had a few encounters like that. Like somebody came one time and I haven't seen this woman in years. She comes in and, she, and at the end of the service, she was like, Oh, what's your birthday? And she writes down all these numbers and she was like, So I need you to do this and find out what's the numbers. And the, my mom was like, We believe in Jesus Christ in here. Okay. My mom just straight on. She was like, Take this with you. Right. And she ain't never come back. Okay. But it was weird because me being naive, I didn't know. Even conversation yeah. with people, you know, I, like I always, I only play gospel in my business, mm. right? So a lot of times, like it sparked conversations, and like a lot of times, people will talk about like God with me. But so then, sometimes I be, you know, entertaining like mm. God, God, God. But then I realize at the end, like, wait, we ain't talking about the same God. No, <laughs> which God? I, just, I always ask, which God? Jesus? No, or? I realize yeah. that now. Yeah, people don't talk. No, but it's all about age and experience and mm. knowledge. Like, you no, know, it's different gods. I realize that. Yeah. And I was like, wait a minute, we would never talk about the same God. Yeah, so I always ask, I believe in God. Jesus Christ? Oh, oh. no, I believe in I said, oh no, I don't we don't believe in the same. I'm oh, very, so, so you you say I, that I, right. What's oh. up? Which God are we talking about? Oh, I probably need to do that. Yeah, I would say do that. I always ask, which God are we talking about? Are you talking about Jesus Christ? Or are you talking oh. about Buddha? Or because anybody could be a rock could be a God for somebody. Right. So which God are we talking exactly. about? Uh another thing too that I was thinking when you were talking, I was just like, Do you ever pray over? My like, business? When you, yeah. So I do, and I need to be a little bit more consistent, but I do. Do you anoint the place? So my mom did it for me mm -hmm. when they was doing the construction. Mm -hmm. She and her prayer warriors came in there. Like literally, mm -hmm. the, the contractors came the next day. I was like, Kadeen, there's a whole bunch of like handprints all over the wall. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, my mom and them was praying with the, um, oil. the anointing oil. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> it was like handprints all over. Yep. But you know what? I need to do that. Do it yourself. I don't know if you, you probably will not see, but there's nothing but it's oil prints on, the, on these walls. I've never done that before. Whenever, I'll give you an example. I don't know if I have like the right terms to like. You know the right terms? God help me. So <laughs> it, it, it's usually just, I keep a real some God please bless my house. Father God, I ask you to anoint this house. Mm -hmm. Line that gate with your blood. Mm -hmm. That any demon that try to step Get into this house, smell the stench of the blood that was sacrificed. Mm -hmm. They didn't. They, they run away. It runs them away. Very simple. His blood, because that was his sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And you just ask it to line your whole house. And I would always say, any spirit that do not belong or do not match with your Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. let them flee. Mm -hmm. Okay. I need to get better. I'm do. I'm just yeah. I'm not gonna lie. When I do start my mornings mm -hmm. in prayer and devotion, my day is the most beautiful I day. Bet. Yes. I bet. But you need to do, I always tell people, I was, I was just talking to um one of our other friends where they had some issues. I was like, do you know your house? Mm -hmm. They're like, no. Even like how you're talking about your, um your past, the pastor talking about spiritual warfare. Oh, the, I'm not spiritual warfare, but um, witches and warlocks. Witches and warlocks. A lot of these witches and warlocks cannot activate and do a lot of these things because there are people praying. There are certain areas they cannot attack because people praying. You need to anoint your house. You need to anoint your businesses. Because mm -hmm. I was just watching this clip from that lady from, diff was it Different World? No. So the dark skin one, Maxine, I think her name yeah. is. She was on a hot night somewhere. She was talking about her grandmother being a witch. She talked about that? Yeah. When? I, it just recently came out. I just watched it yesterday. I'm going to send it to you. It's really, it's, it's like, it's, it's real a real. lot going on there. It's real, real. Because a lot of people yeah. are playing with stuff they don't know about. That's what he preached about last week. I'm African. Yeah. Yeah, he girl. About that. People be playing with stuff they do not know about. That's what he said. Talk about talk, I want to get in, in, in touch with my ancestors. Them That's what he no, talked about. Them niggas Did ain't you nobody. watch it? No. Was, oh, I talked, talked about, about this about last week and the week before. I've been You're talking lying. about this. I'm so serious. Oh, wow. I've been talking about this. Them niggas ain't nobody's ancestors. Them, right. them demons looking like. Right, right. Disguising as ancestors. So I don't play that. Yeah. So she was talking about her grandmother being a witch and she had a business. I think it was a coffee shop or whatever. But she would put a little dust on top of the thing, so when you walk he in, he talked about. No, I didn't watch. Wait, it. No, I didn't watch wait it. Wait a minute. <laughs> no, he talked about that. Oh, really? And that's what you think about, like when I go into other people's businesses, and I was like, whoa. He talked about all oh, because she. Okay, I'm just trying to figure how he talked about that. And he, it's probably some God is. So one thing I noticed when God is trying to do an awakening, He will put it on multiple believers' hearts. Right. Yeah. This been the conversation. Like you guys have been watching the pat. The last mm -hmm. two shows been about these things, mm -hmm. right? Talking about. Astrology, even being of Satan. And I know, and I'm so like, I'm stop. A, yeah. I'm a yeah. <laughs> Every time you post, I'm like, I need, I to, need stop. to stop. My friend ran me to Kadeen. I'm like, I know, but I'm such a. No. 
Because you know what? That then is such a lie. Because it's normal human behavior. I see. Behaviors. I see. It's very like that particular sign is very like we have certain like man like the fact they say word, we you still claiming these two people. No, we meaning like certain people that are mm. that represent this sign. Yeah, you saying I we? I see. Like. Uh -huh. Yeah, I know. But do but, you know? I don't believe in it. Like I don't study it. I just know that. But you're claiming it. I it's know. identity. Thing. Now you claim it's yours. And I said, and I God know. tells you, and I forget. What, Damon, put this um verse here because we put it last time. God tells you, commands us not to do it. Right. So even doing it, entertaining it, because I'm I remember when I was younger, I used to wake up every day, read my horoscope. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have this kind yes, of day. Yes. Give it so much power. And yes. God is like, no. That's not your God. I'm your God. I determine right. what kind of day you're going to have. Right, right. You know, so. Anywho. We're gonna so talk. how did you stop saying it? After God showed me like, oh. Oh, you, okay, okay. You you basically making. I, I told you who you are. And you're basically telling me. Yeah. This is who you are right, based right, on what right. somebody wrote. Right, right. Who, who's your father? Me or them? Right. Who's your God? Me or them? So after I was just like, oh. And then learning that God said, heck no. If you read in Job. This astrology stuff. Yes, the comments and all that stuff are real, but they are not to identify who you are. Right. So no, that's I know, when yeah. I was just like, oh, I got to So now I laugh at it. When you read, oh, so I'm this. I'm like, everybody's that. Like, oh, cancers are so emotional. You're always angry. That's also emotional. Mm -hmm. So we, it's just right. normal human characteristics that they emphasize, oh, well, this person's stop. And I people know, say, not... and I feel like it's, it it works when people say, oh, I'm I'm this, yeah. You probably are becoming more of that thing because you're claiming it. That is true. And Jesus said that the, is the power true, yeah. lies in your tongue. Right. So if you said that, oh, I'm an emotional person or whatever characteristic, right. yeah, you're going to be that person because you're claiming right. it. No, you're right. So let it go. I'm getting better at it. Yeah, good. I didn't say the word. Good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but so this, I'll call Maxine because I forget her real name. Her grandmother used to put the dust and people that walk and fall on them. What? Right? Yeah. So. One thing that God does, so you have to really be in tune with the spiritual, not the spiritual realm, but you really have discernment. to pray for discernment I know and I, wisdom. Right. Because there is this, there's this store, there's a couple of stores right in Brooklyn. There's one where I walked into, I'm just like, so, oof, it feels heavy in here. Mm. As if something is here. Mm. I shouldn't be in here. And I press, as soon as I press, I got cover me. Whatever, mm. the spirit's in here, I can feel it. I don't want anything to be attached. Mm -hmm. And if you're that spiritually awake, you will you feel know, it. Yeah. And the long ball, as I'm leaving, because it's a black power, oh, you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? Whatever. Beautiful items. Mm -hmm. But something was up. It was like a big barrel with like ashes burning and incense. I was just like, this is something what, ritual. What's up with that, with the incense? Because... Satan likes to take things and pervert it. Yes. So if you think you think about Old Testament, when people used to make sacrifices, burnt offerings, they used to burn incense as well mm -hmm. as a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Satan took that, come, perverted mm -hmm. it, and made mm -hmm. it his own. So a lot of the incense come with sacrificial rituals. So would you say someone that has that strong, because you know how those things smell, like mm -hmm. someone that has like that drench in it, do you think that they do? They do it. They probably don't understand what they're doing, why they're doing it. It might just, I'm not saying all incense burning is bad. I, like I wouldn't say. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not saying, but if we look at their lifestyle, they are What if we don't know their lifestyle? I mean, I'm saying that because I have a client. I have clients that come, and I'm like, something is off. Capasa talked about it. He said, yeah, "You ever met somebody?" Off, that's your spirit he'd be telling like, you. I don't know. Just something about this person, and I feel like that sometimes with like certain people. Yeah, because that's the Holy Spirit yeah. giving you a hint. Like, but I don't know what it is. I'm just like the spirit. They, so the things a lot of people entertain these things and get into it, not knowing what it comes with. Right. So sometimes right, right. they might have things attached to them. They don't even know this attached right. to them. Right. Right. So they might have no idea. To them, they just burn the incense. And I'm not saying the incense burning is bad. I I don't know i don't entertain it because yeah I stopped, one yeah. you should look at the places when you where you get it from oh my gosh i know it's I always know. off right yeah and it's all sitting that's the stage it just looks dark and my point yeah. so follow your spirit if you, the spirit is giving you that discernment like something's off something is off right there's another indian um grocery store and i love to cook as y'all know and i was excited when it first opened i said oh mm -hmm. they got ingredients maybe i can make some in the eastern mm -hmm. food and that I walked in, and I talked about this last week, and immediately I heard God tell me, touch nothing in here mm, and leave. Mm -hmm. It just felt so heavy. Mm -hmm. He said, don't even touch a single thing on this aisle. Mm. Leave. 
my my physical was di- I was like, oh my God, they yeah. got spices. I would never yeah, find. Yeah. And I had to leave mm. because it's there. And on top of it was is a, a the people do womb cleansing. Don't play with that. Next door is like a yoga yoga mm. spot. Yoga is another one. Uh, yo- I know, girl. Okay. I know. So I'll just okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm here. Yeah. I'm, it's, I no, my mom like this. She's like, oh, I don't like all those things. She's like, you shouldn't be entertaining that. You shouldn't because the thing is, so one thing that I realized here in the in the Western world, voodoo, and my friend talked about it last week. Hulu and Hulu and voodoo are two different. Things. I never heard of voodoo. Sorry. Oh, no. So voodoo is more her um herbal oh witchcraft where they use oh. a lot of like essential oils and really sage yeah those kind of things and voodoo's voodoo right the thing i realized with witchcraft in the western world is commercialized it to make it is to be look pretty i know like a lot of disney mad demonic I know. you know what i'm saying Very. so it's hard for you to believe that this is what's happening I know. whereas in the caribbean africa in the latin country mm-hmm. it is raw mm-hmm. like it ain't no Mm-hmm. Oh, a mermaid. No, it's my man what that you see. It is mm-hmm. raw. So you believe it. Oh, shoot. I don't play with that. Because they don't try to mm-hmm. commercialize it. So it makes it very hard yeah. for us to be like decipher whether right. if this is. But go if the fact that you are made of God's image and you follow Jesus Christ, He giving you that His spirit. He's I'm a sealer with the Holy Spirit. If you feel that like something is off, 99.9% of the time something is off. Trust right. your discernment. And I know the world likes to call it instinct, but trust your discernment. And be gone. Right. So, I was, like I said, I would advise you. Pray after each client. Pray after each I, client. Touch them. As you know, soon as that I energy, know. Like, that's a that's a exchange. Yeah. Not even energy, spirit. That's a connection. So you I was say oh. energy. See, the devil has taken the word spirit. And, I know. And changed it to You're energy. Right. So you yeah. know, oh, that's energy. No, no, no. It's spirit. Okay. It's a spiritual transfer. I remember when I, I was to be younger, mindful of the words. Ver- I, yeah. yeah. I hate the word energy. I hate unless I'm really talking about energy, like right. scientifically. I hate the word partner. Oh I, my god, me too. When, because <laughs> when like I'm what? having conversation with people and they say partner, I say I always say, "Are you referring to same sex? Wait, are you referring to the same thing?" Partner? Yes. Yeah. My husband, but people, oh my partner. And I'm my and husband. I feel like, why you say partner? Like you have a husband. Because all these people trying to hush us and make us change change our language. You came right. into my. I husband. never understood why certain women be like my partner. You know like, why? Because this whole society, LG, how no, LGBTQ, and I'm I gonna know. say, go ahead, fight me if you want to. Yeah, LGBTQ, and, and no, people don't want to be offended because you no know, people have right. same sex, so don't say white. All right, so right, if right. you chose to do what you want to do, I'm gonna say my husband. If you're offended by a husband or wife, get over it. Right. Stop talking to me. It's right. really that simple. So I hate that. But anyway, mm-hmm. the word energy. Is and partner and part is it's it's what else spirits? <laughs> it's it's, it's going it, for what it is. It's yeah. spirits. These are spirits. You know, it's all. Oh, it's just you know. I didn't like their energy. No, I didn't like their spirit because you know what Satan does. When he changes the name, he remo- it, it 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 hides the true meaning of it. Right. When you say energy is light, okay. Oh, it, like is, it is. It is. When you say I don't like their spirit, it's a little bit deeper. Like right. Hold it on. Is. Yeah. Okay. Mean? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So I call it for what it is. Cause saying all you gotta do is just kind of blur the lines a little bit, right. so you can't tell what is yeah. real, what's fake. So spirit, so spiritual transfer. I remember when I was younger, this lady gave me money randomly. So I remember I was excited, fifty dollars. Mm-hmm. I told my dad, oh, so and so gave me fifty dollars. And I was like, okay. That night I got spiritually attacked. Mm-hmm. Demons were trying to choke me out, mm-hmm. right? And I had like. Were you like half asleep? Half, half asleep. Yeah, yeah, but it wasn't it was not like the, you was awake, but yeah. yeah. So while I'm getting choked by other demons, little demons trying, whatever. I had three other demons by my windowsill just levitating, laughing at me, getting attacked. Mm-hmm. I kept saying Jesus over and over and over again. Finally jumped up, cold sweat. Finally jumped up, like what the hell? Going to the bathroom. My mother was like, the first thing she she asked me what happened. As soon as I got up, she was like, "Where's the money the lady gave you?" Mm, well, I just got the chills. Wow. <laughs> and I was just like. Under my pillow, because as a kid, I just put it under my oh. pillow, right? I don't know, she's a gimme. Because oh. the minute you told me the lady gave you money, Holy Spirit told me, take that money, mm-hmm. pray over it, and transfer, change it, and give you bill for my wallet. Mm-hmm. Because what the, what them, the, those, those people do, those witches, those whatever you can call them, witches, what they do, all they need is a connection. Mm-hmm. So she's in a connection to me, and that was through the money mm-hmm. to attack. 
Mm -hmm. So, yes, do pray over your business. Family. Do pray over it. Like, you walk in, if it's every day before you leave, before you start, anoint your wall. Or even do anointing once a week. Whatever. Whatever the Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit tells you to do. And whatever you touch God. And I would say, if they don't belong here, they don't need to be here, let them not even come. Let them cancel. Mm -hmm. Right. Because you touch them, that's a spiritual transfer. I know. You know, but once you're protected, and you would tell, once... And I pray prayers, you know, got into situations or been around. But I said, God, if there's a spirit that don't belong, I've watched niggas leave every time. Mm. Mm-hmm. And it kind of give me an idea what kind of spirit you're walking with. Mm. You have to be intentional because what the Bible say? We don't battle against um, fresh flesh and, and blood, flesh and blood, but spirits mm-hmm. and it is real. Yeah. All right, and I shared this. So I remember Damon years ago. He had a dream that. Um, not years ago, like two years ago, he had a dream and God was showing up just on this block. It was nighttime. Streets are dark, but he saw demons trying to go into people's homes. Mm. Hold on, that, that, I'm going to share my dream. Mm-hmm. So my dream was right before the pandemic. Mm-hmm. And this dream was, I looked out the window and it was chaotic outside. It was like a bunch of cars, bunch of people, people just trying to get away. Mm. And everyone was leaving this building. Everybody running up and down the city just trying to leave this building. But everyone, mm. before they left the building, they was going towards this tall, black guy. He was like gigantic. Mm. And everybody wanted to go to him. And I see everybody exchanging something with this gigantic mm. black guy. And I remember Kevin going to him. Kevin was like, you know, whatever Kevin did, I said, whatever you did to him, do it to me, do it to me. Mm. What did you do I said, I said I, then before he slashed, but I don't know what the meaning for that is. Okay. But then I said, whatever you did to him, do it, do it to me. And he was like, I said, but what is this? What are you doing? He was like, do you want to be with the world or do you want to live forever with, for Jesus, with Jesus Christ? Oh, I just got chills. Who said that? A big. And then, so after he did it to me and then I woke up. And I called my mom, I wrote it down. Because you know dreams, like mm-hmm. after a few minutes, it just like this. Mm-hmm. I'm like trying to see right in my phone. And even to now, my mom, my friends, everyone like reminds me of that dream because guess what happened? The what? pandemic happened. Mm. Yeah, that was, I was like, wow. So I don't know if God was like preparing me. So I always try to think about that dream. Like I have to choose Christ. Like Always. Every, Not yeah. even past the pandemic. But no, I'm just saying in general, mm-hmm. like, all these, like, even now, like, life is getting so hard, so challenging. And honestly, like, I don't know about your story, but I feel like a lot of people just, like, the like the, the world is so weird right now. Like, we're <laughs> such in a weird space. We don't know mm-hmm. what tomorrow is going to happen. Mm-hmm. And you can't plan for the future because this, this world is so unpredictable right now. Mm-hmm. And I just keep saying, the only thing I have to lean on is, like, Jesus. God. Yeah, Jesus. Yeah, that's the only thing. That's all you got. Prayer and God because it's, like, that's and, all we have. Yeah, yeah. and that, the things that... Relate, relying on God gives you so much peace, mm-hmm. regardless of how it goes. Mm-hmm. You know He got your back. Right. You know who wins the fight at the end of the day. Well, it wasn't a fight. Who mm-hmm. wins battle? Something. The battle, yeah, the yeah. war at the end. I don't know what to call it at the end of it all. And mm-hmm. right now, a lot of people are choosing Satan. I know. A lot of people say, you know what? I mm-hmm. want to be my own God. Mm-hmm. I want to make my own decisions. I don't want to bow to anything or anyone. So I'm going to be my own God. Not realizing mm-hmm. all that crap comes with a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. Okay? There's no peace in it. And if there is fake there is fake peace, but you have to always work for that peace, fake peace. That's what people always right. have to sage and continuously mm-hmm. do this thing to get this peace. It's just like, yeah. Or you could just go do that. That's scary. Mm-mm. I see it a lot now, a lot. It's everywhere. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I see a lot of people turning away from it too. Yeah. Away from witchcraft. Oh, you. Oh. I'm starting to see it a lot now. Yeah. Yeah, because they haunted. <laughs> okay. I have a. Uh, I think I want to talk about it. I just hope she doesn't watch it. But I have a friend. Mm-hmm. She is um, okay. So I have a friend. She practices witchcraft and all this mm. stuff like that. What's your friend? And well, let me not. Someone you I know knew. Somebody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, someone I knew for many years. Mm-hmm. And um, she went to the witch hmm. and told the witch that she wanted to serve. She's a make. Mm, I could say it. She works with celebrities. So she wanted to. Hmm? Go ahead. (laughs) 
Ah, oh, because girl, she like, what are you talking about? Well, you know, she talked about it online, so it's very public. Anyway, she's a celebrity makeup artist, and she went to this witch, and she told the witch she wanted to service a particular type of celebrities, mm -hmm. like very specific. Mm -hmm. The whole room turned in fire, mm. and she said the witch. It was a guy, a man, started talking, and the tongue came out like a snake, and, and talked as a woman. But up to this day, this girl see A-list celebrities. Her life is very dark, mm -hmm. and she's tormented every night. Of course. The issue Because that's a sacrifice. The issue is, though, is that she wants to turn away from that and go to Christ now. So she's getting baptized. She's doing all these things now. But I think, and she's still getting tormented. Mm -hmm. And I think that in order for this to stop happening is that she has to actually give up that lifestyle. Yeah, because God to... didn't give you that. No, saying does. So it's... you cannot. So yeah. she had one foot in, and I'm just like, and I never tell her, I never mention it to her because she's very like defensive. But I'm like, you have to give that life up. You have like, to you pray even... and then talk to her and ask God to give I you the world to her. Why not, Kadeem? Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. That's a whole soul that can be saved. Mm -hmm. Are you scared? Um, just like, um, sh no, I'm not scared. I just don't like the back and forth and arguing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's pray for her. Mm-hmm. That's it. <laughs> that's it. But no, but that see, that's the thing. People don't realize because Satan offered the world to Jesus. Mm-hmm. He said, "Bow to me, and I'll give you the world." Because this is His. Mm -hmm. God threw Him down here. But the thing that he knows that a lot of people don't realize or forget, he knows once a, soon this joint is going to be over. Mm -hmm. So you can have the whole, what the Bible said, what is it for a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Mm -hmm. Yes, you got the A-list celebrities. Yes, you do. But now you can't sleep at night. It's bad for her. You cannot buy peace. Mm -hmm. I know. And now in order for her to really be done with that, she needs to be delivered mm -hmm. and completely cut that she channel. Tried. Between, but then she have to not. She have to give that up. Everything. Yeah. You cannot go to Satan for a parcel and be mm -hmm. mad when you have to pay the price tag. Mm -hmm. It is hard when that's like. That's I'm mad. I said parcel like I'm freaking British. We can, <laughs> we were colonized by the British once again. Uh, <laughs> a gift. You it know, it's hard when like that's how you pay your bills and stuff. You I know? don't care. <laughs> no, but what's the point of having your bills paid and for eternity you stuck in hell? Yeah. My friend that was here last week, she said that she had a dream when she was in high school, and basically. It was like a plane and it, it went down. So she was in hell, mm. right? And she saw what hell was like. Really? And literally what people did for pleasure on earth that got them to be in their sin away from God is what they did repeatedly in hell. So if what? you was a prostitute, if you was a girl that wanted to have sex with everybody, no she way. said this one girl had dudes just lined up. That's what she saw. She, she... she was just having sex all day, every day, nonstop. So you want to work with celebrities and do makeup? Nigga, you're going to be doing makeup all day, every day, nonstop. Mm. Damon said when he had a dream about Kobe when he passed. And he was... When who passed? Kobe Bryant. Oh, I thought you said... I'm like, your husband is down. Say, what do you mean he passed? No, 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 no girl. I'm like, what? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah. No. She said when Kobe passed, he Kobe, had a dream oh. about, And that's funny. I had a dream about him, too. I don't know why. I wasn't... I didn't care for... Back <laughs> right, Kobe, right. But I did. I don't know why I got... Anyways... And he was where he was playing Michael Jordan all day, mm. every day, nonstop. So if she she needs to break that chain, and it will require her trying, man. leaving. Mm. You cannot want to serve Satan. Okay. Enjoy the gift you know, that Satan gave you. Know you know what she definitely told me on the phone though. She said to me, she sometimes she feel like just going back to that lifestyle because she's doing everything God's way, and like she's not. She's like God is not like giving her like a husband. Like she's just not happy. Cause you have to get out of it. Yeah. She's, like, she just He's not, not about to give you his kid and you out here halfway serving know. Satan and halfway serving God. Which who's going to be a master? God or Satan? Right. You cannot serve two masters. Right, you do that better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah, it's, it's it's real. You cannot serve two masters. Mm -hmm. You cannot serve God and say you want to serve Satan mm -hmm. because you like it's like. You like the gifts that Satan is giving you, but you don't. Right, yeah. You can't. That's not going to work. Satan is always going to ask mm, for a sacrifice. I wish I was here, right? Mm. <laughs> you can move up. Okay. Satan's always going to ask for a sacrifice. And yes, that sacrifice is your soul. Yeah. I went to the Beyonce concert. Oh, God, you know. 
I want to see really. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of hers. Why did you go? Because I want to see what the hype was about, and I'm not gonna lie. Like after I left, let me put this down real quick. <laughs> Talk about I actually it, spoke to Gio about this. Mm -hmm. Marsha Gio. Gio. Uh huh. So I, I was like, I went to the concert, and I was like, I, it just looked like we all just like, like she was God. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Yeah, and um, and after I left, I felt heavy, and I felt bad that I actually bought tickets to see her mm. and there was a part in the in the um, concert where it was like a black and white circle mm. and it said control your mind oh and I'm not gonna lie to you I felt like I was like obsessed with her after the concert oh wow like I was and they just be telling you too it was so bad because I'm not a Beyonce fan yeah. like and I was like obsessed with her first thing in the morning. I'm like going on Instagram. I'm like looking to see when she posts her previous concert. Like, you know, like wow. they wait, like they post it every day at like seven, eight o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Like I knew the time and everything. Wow. And then um, her music, I was playing it all day, every day. The poor kids have to hear this demonic crap. It was so bad. Thank God, like it kind of like um, died down now, but mm -hmm. it was like a month obsessed now i'm like googling her where does she live what how she live what type of all of that it was so like it was so bad i had to talk to you about it i'm like gee i went to the concert and i'm like obsessed with this woman did you talk to jesus about it no i didn't jesus would be your first contact no no, no. it wasn't like i went to him to talk about it. i was just like oh i went to the yeah. concert and you know what me i was talking about something else and i brought up that and i was yeah. giving him an example of how i'm like obsessed with this Cause woman that's what they no it's intention they yes. want that yeah. No, because a lot of these celebrities, I don't know Beyonce, I don't know what he, she does, but a lot of these she celebrities. She's a witch. I, I mean, now I'm is. studying, I'm like, oh, not studying, yeah. but when I was yeah. looking, I was like, wow, she's she not that husband. nice. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? But the things, a lot of these celebrities, not all, I can't speak for all, but a lot of them, they do a lot of them. rituals before they start their concert. Lot, they make yeah. sacrifices on y'all yeah. souls to yeah. go. Like, who was it? Uzi Vert? Oh, I don't know if you saw this one. But it was at his concert, and he said, yeah, I think he was. You were talking like, Travis Scott? No, Uzi oh, Travis Scott heard is another one. Oh, he, it's multiple. He said, "No, I have one." Oh, he said, "He said, y'all don't even know I'm doing a ritual on y'all right now." Paraphrasing what he's saying, I'm doing a ritual on y'all, and, and people just still screaming. I'm like, a lot of these celebrities tell you straight up mm -hmm. what we are doing, mm -hmm. but you know that they know that you're stupid, not yeah. you, but that people yeah. are stupid yeah. enough to not pay attention. Yeah. So, and. It's, he, mm. You know what I'm saying? Bad. And people are obsessed. Yeah. And then I always find it difficult to understand how one is a believer, really trust and believe God and follow God and all this stuff and be obsessed with Beyonce and all these other... I know. I'm like, how do you... I how are you not convicted? Because uh, I'm not even going to lie to you. I, I love... Kend I was. I enjoyed Kendrick Lamar, but it came to a point... He's another one? No, no, no. Oh. But I'm saying like... He don't talk about anything that edify God. Mm -hmm. and he, in the beginning, he did. He, he did? Oh, yeah. Like, his old albums, his mixtape before he blew up. Really? He talked about God. He talked about being in church. talking about his mother. His oh. grandmother one. Grandmother is the one that taught him about God and being really yeah. like... And he talked about even sometimes the struggles of following Jesus, sometimes being in church and saying still giving you thoughts. He talked about all that. He has a whole salvation prayer mm. in his um one of his mistakes. Really? So that's oh. why I was really into Kendrick. I'm not like, now. He right? was hurt. Yeah. He was you know, but he real, was yeah. real. Yeah. Right? Then now he got to the thing of I think it was a just I don't know if it's black Israelite type person mentality. Oh, he looks like that. Like, yeah, yeah, but yeah. he started talking about you know, kind of comparing him to Jesus, himself to Jesus. Oh. It just got real weird, so I stopped listening. Because I it got nah, weird. <laughs> it got real, as much as talented as he is, it got real weird. And it come, every time I try to listen to him, I felt convicted. Like, my, my mm -hmm. spirit was just not sad. If I was bothered. Right. You get what I'm yeah. saying? So, I'm like, okay, I got this conviction. But you have Beyonce and Jay-Z or whoever who talk about the stuff she said about the Bible. She said she plugs a menstrual hub with the scriptures, mm. the Holy Spirit. Like, the certain... I heard that. I, never, yeah. I haven't heard it, but I heard people talk about it. The stuff that Jay-Z talking about, uh, life start when the church ends, you know, one of his music from back then. I don't think he Jehovah. I never liked him. Oh, I never liked him either. And you know I did his video. Oh, yeah, I think he told me And I played video. Beyonce. Wait, what? Yeah, and what Lost Ones. <gasps> You're lying. No. And he For wasn't even nice. I, 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 I never liked him then. He looked like his breath stinks. Um, I don't know about that. He's just not nice. <laughs> but usually when you on set and you're doing, like, then the artist always comes and, like, greet you and say hi and things like that. Like, he just looked. Imagine I was playing Beyonce. It was just me and him on set. 
Mm. And he didn't even, he just looked, it just wasn't pleasant. I gotta go look at it now. Yeah, all you see is my legs. Oh. <laughs> and they gave me a, a blonde wig. And, but yeah, I mean, obviously I don't look like her, so I guess they just wanted a woman mm -hmm. to have her complexion mm -hmm. while he was, re like, reference her. Mm. He talks oh. about her in that song. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Well, oh, yeah, yeah. For y'all Beyonce fans and go hard and... I ain't gonna lie, my friends that are Christian came and like, what are you doing at her concert? Like, are you serious? And I was just like... I just want to see what the no. hype is about. Well, you I was saw. just so yeah. You saw that the, the hype is not authentic. The hype is it was good. Hold on, I'm missing fish. I'm like, I'm like, hold oh. up. Even... <laughs> the hype is what's not authentic. The hype is uh manufactured. Hmm. It is hypnotism. Yeah, exactly. It, right, I agree. Yeah, it's, it's not real. Even like they're raving about her like hair, her hair care product. It look like it is not going to work for anybody that. No, but people love it. I haven't heard anything like bad about it. I, I mean, I'm not buying it. I'm I don't like the name it. of it. One said ritual something. I am not <laughs> using that. <laughs> Did you see the name? Yes. Was it say ritual and yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, okay. no, I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. I listen. I, I call myself a Beyonce hater. Mm. Not that I don't know Beyonce. It's just that I hate. You know, same with what you were talking about. I think the 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 worship of her is yeah. so weird. Oh, it was very uncomfortable. Very weird. So I yeah. never, I, my dislike for Beyonce came from her fans. Because I'm like, yeah, I mm. worship this woman. And it's no, weird. yeah, it's bad. Even believers. I have close friends that I know. love Beyonce. I and just, know. I'm like, I'm like, this, y'all think this is normal? Yeah. Right. <laughs> like. No, no, it's true. For real, for mm -hmm. real. Well, yeah. I'm glad you got to see for you. Because sometimes yeah. some of us have to see for ourselves. I ain't yeah. got to see for me. I could tell. Yeah, it was bad. It was bad. I, I was like surprised at myself too. How much was yeah. the sugar? I'm embarrassed to say because it was about one, two, three, four, five, six of us, and I got all our tickets. Only, no, seven of us, seven tickets, and only three pay me back. So one of the people was my husband, so of course he wasn't gonna pay me back. Right. Yeah, yeah. The other one, it was, supposed, it was supposed to be for my sister, and it was supposed to be a gift, and we were supposed to go half with some with my aunt. Mm -hmm. They didn't go half, so I ended up paying for her ticket, and then it was another mm -hmm. woman I paid for her. Actually, she paid me back recently, but a portion of it. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. I would. It was the dumbest thing I ever did. Yeah, I know. It's bad. Seven, and the tickets. Range from six to like seven ish. A ticket, Kadeen, mm -hmm. and you pay for how many people? I know, horrible. What's I'm about to turn to the cheapest one I did get was for one girl, and hers was five and change. I know. Where's my calculator? Are you, <laughs> are you yeah. kidding me? I wish I was. Yeah, it was bad. I don't even know why. I don't know. Yeah. Hell, no. to go listen to some demons? I know. I know. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. And how did Kevin feel about it? We both felt bad after. Like, why did we go? Like, yeah. We should never have went to see her. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. He felt bad. Damn. I mean, he felt like we shouldn't. He was like, because I think right before, he was like, maybe we shouldn't go to this. And I was like, I'm going to spend all this money. We mm. going. Mm. Yeah. I would never do that again. I, I would not even pay $20 to see Beyonce. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. <sighs> Go forgive her. Yeah. Meanwhile, Cassie won the house of the pool. I know. You buying Beyonce I know. <laughs> <and> tickets. <laughs> She's always big to that. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. So you, know you learn. There you go with Beyonce. Mm -hmm. Y'all Beyonce fiends, Beyonce mm -hmm. lovers. Yeah. This this is what you're dealing with. And even the country song that she made, it's it's like really wag. I'm like, why are people raving about this? When I heard that, I said, this is trash. Yeah, but you know, she, but got, now, she got them under control. So yeah, she, right, right. Because I heard I was like, this is trash. She got them under control, so that's that's how that's going. Like I said, it's not authentic. It's... Okay, enough about Beyonce. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. How are you balancing? Or um, how are you balancing being a wife, a mother of two, and you got little children, mm -hmm. and running your own business? Mm -hmm. How are you doing that for for the woman or man that is like this is a dream of mine? 
How are you doing that? So I knew this question probably was going to come up because mm -hmm. it comes up a lot with people and I don't have an answer for it. I'm not doing, I'm, I'm not really the great at, like the greatest at this. Mm -hmm. What I mean is like when, like you have three, four people to attend to, mm -hmm. right? Somebody, and out of those three people I also have a business and out of everyone, someone is getting neglected. Mm -hmm. So it's something I'm actually challenged, like I'm dealing with now and trying to like figure it out. Mm -hmm. And then even more so now because I'm back as being a solo esthetician until I figure out who I'm gonna hire next. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't have the answer. <laughs> yeah. What would you say is, is difficult too? It's very difficult because, um, you know, like I said, before I got married and had kids, I had the business. Business was my everything, right? Mm -hmm. That sounds bad saying that. It does, but yeah. God understand. I get it. Yeah. It was before. Yeah, you, it was like, like that's my like that's my focus, right? So, because I feel like the more you pour into your business, the the more you get out of it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just I'm just watering my plant. Like mm -hmm. you know, I feel like that's how you see the growth of your business, right? Mm -hmm. So anyway, so so then now when I got married now. <laughs> I was still bringing work home. Mm -hmm. And I remember Kevin in the beginning, my husband, Kevin, he was like, it was very challenging for him because he didn't understand. It's like, you're married, like yeah. leave that at work. And But my work don't stop, it's my business. It's not mm -hmm. like, oh, okay, I'm done for the day nine to five mm -hmm. and I go home to my family. But no, I'm like, I'm still working, I'm answering emails. And he, he had a hard time like accepting that in the beginning. Mm -hmm. So I also had to learn. So now I try when I get home, yeah. like that's it. Then now when kids came, now I'm like, wait a minute. Now I got to like, yeah. you know, <laughs> take it home. Yeah. So it's just hard in general. So I just try to be very intentional with my life. And um, like I said earlier, like just closing out holidays and mm -hmm. weekends. If I come home early on a Saturday, like mm -hmm. we're going to plan the day as and a you, family. And you, you, you work Monday through So I work. Sunday. So we open uh, uh, Monday through Saturday. I close Sunday. Good. Yep, I go Sunday. And even sometimes I think about opening Sunday, the possibility of like making more money, but not me working, someone else working. I have to remember Chick fil A. <laughs> yes. I remember Chick fil A. Chick fil A. And I also think about yeah. Jews, and I'm like. Because forget the Jews, forget Chick fil A though. In the Bible, when God created the heaven and the earth and all that stuff, he rested. Mm -hmm. It's God. God did not need to rest. Right. He's God. Right. But he did to tell us that we need to rest. Right. So he is the perfect example of the of to why we have to take the Sabbath. Right. That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah. But so I look at businesses that like are very sure like Sunday. Yeah. I get very upset when I'm like traveling on a Sunday and I want Chick-fil-A and like you cannot find a Chick-fil-A. Yeah, I get mad too, but now I, got, I, have, yeah. I have to be like. So yeah. So I go, look at yeah. that and I'm like. Yeah, let me stick to what I believe in. So, mm -hmm. so anyways, I open Monday through Saturday, and um, and but I don't work Wednesdays. Actually, okay. I'm lying. My days are off are really Wednesdays, but I can't take it out of me. Like, I can't rest, so I still go in. Kadeem. I know. Yeah. So, my kids aren't in school until about 2.30, so I literally drop them off, go to the office, work, until it's time to pick them up. Mm -hmm. And then you drop them off at home and no, go back to work? No, no, I'm, I'm with them. That's their day. And you spend the rest of the day with your other Yeah, child. with me. No, no, no. I take them swimming. I do things Oh, oh so I mean that you're done for the oh, day. Oh, I'm done with the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Good. But, okay. I should, but Wednesdays are supposed to be my day. Oh, yeah, because you knew, do need your day. Yeah, I don't have my day. Why? What's happening on Wednesdays? I take appointments. <laughs> Doing that break that from one day in school up until time to pick them up, I'm like, I still go in. Oh. Either I'm cleaning, I'm taking, I'm getting shipments. Yeah. Can you gotta be a little more strict on yourself? Mm hmm. No, Wednesday needs to be your day. No, no. Because, okay, my mother's a nurse. It was my, it, no, it was. I did take it off until I had my recent situation where I'm back as a sole esthetician until I find <laughs> new staff. So talk to God, and he's going to give you the right people. Yeah, I've been praying about it. Yeah, give the right people. I mean, I have so many people that want to work with me, but you know when they, when they just not it? Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like, mm. Yeah, yeah, go with discernment. Yeah, if you yeah. feel like And that's why I said, I was like, you know, I'm not going to move till till I know. Yeah, good. Because like, cause I usually, I'm very impulsive, bad. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah bad. I so. I'm like that with shopping. Yeah, I'm really, really bad. I don't think, like someone asked me the other day, um... <laughs> 
But I think I do go go off, off of faith because mm-hmm. somebody asked me, how do you do it? Because they know like my my machines, everything is so expensive. So and expensive. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, I don't think about it. I said, I, I can't tell you what to do because the way I do it may not be the best advice. Mm-hmm. I just do it off of faith. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get it. And God going to provide. And that's mm-hmm. how I ran my business like all these years. Wow. It's not good, but I mean, that's if, you're, if you're going off faith, then you're fine. I just like I don't know. I me, mean, like, me buying a pair of new shoes is not faith. This is no, not not like that. Not like that. I'm thinking about like <laughs> no, no, no. But no, if no, you're faith, uh, we working on it. But yeah. if it's faith, that God is gonna put. That's no. That's, that's me. I'm that's, like I don't know. But that's just, not bad though. I don't think that's bad at all. Now, if you're doing and God is something, no kidding, not now, and you still do it, then that's a different story. There's certain things that I wanted in my business that I knew I couldn't do certain time and I knew when was the time so and did you do it when it was the time yeah, yeah. okay yeah I think mm-hmm. that's fine if it's you know you should get it but you're not worried like but god if I get this I might struggle with that and you know what I'm gonna have faith and do it that's different yeah. I, I actually agree with yeah. that you know but if you know that you're about to buy a ten thousand dollar machine god is like no, I'm not kidding I, I don't know it's probably like damn I know it's worse than that yeah golly I need to buy a house I don't know with a pool yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, when you I actually just get my eyelashes done, but when you go in there and get in your but facial, but did you get a facial too? Mm-mm. I got a facial you got a while ago. long, long time ago. I know. Yeah, I need yeah, to come. Back. But I had to get because I recently. Oh yeah, that's one thing to yeah. ask you because I was looking a couple weeks ago to get a facial, but I didn't know what to pick. I just want. Oh, you don't think it's? I make it like is it complicated? Should I make it more no, simple? No, it's just like, I don't know what I need for me. I oh, I, I thought it was like, breakouts. Okay. I don't have any, it's not really much of an issue. It's just so like So let's just make it clear, right? Okay, tell us. Like. What do people, what do people <laughs> that have my skin, you don't have acne, you really, you don't have dark marks. It's like a few dark marks, but like just a maintenance. But I what don't do you think do? in general, I don't think that you have to have bad skin to get a facial. No, I'm not bad that. skin, but like problematic skin, acne. I don't believe that. Right. But I think like, okay, so if I don't have those issues, if you don't what have do it and you want maintenance, yeah. hydrofacial deluxe is okay. one of the best treatment that anyone can benefit from. And what is that? So hydrofacial is actual hydrofacial machine. It's three steps. Mm-hmm. It's expo- so it's like a suction, right? Okay. So we use customized serums, hyaluronic acid, um, stem cells, all of that. Mm-hmm. But we're stem like, cells? Oh, they get a real scientific. So, so we, we customize mm-hmm. like the serums for each skin concern. Mm-hmm. So it has, um, so we extract the skin. We do exfoliation with the tool, mm-hmm. the vortex tip. And... You see everything that comes out of your skin, mm-hmm. blackheads, everything, and you just leave it a beautiful glow. Mm-hmm. Um, we use LED light, treatment mask. So okay. that's a great treatment for everyone. Okay. Right. Um, and how well, often should a person get that? So you want to do, I would recommend a facial every four to six weeks. Okay. Now, if you're someone that don't have, like, really, like, concerns with your skin and mm-hmm. you just want to, like, treat yourself here and there, mm-hmm. then I would say every season like when the season change mm, okay right, then you you can do a facial okay as long as you also using the right skincare regimen at home because mm-hmm. the worst thing is to like invest in your skin but then you go back to using vaseline and yeah, if I don't you know still use vaseline in 2024 it's crazy I don't, yeah i don't know why people still use vaseline i'm not gonna lie to you though you use vaseline no i don't oh but when i i did okay so one time right one summer yeah i use on my body vaseline it feels I, good no, oh. I say the glow. Oh, it was nice. Oh, I was really? glowing. Not even greasy oh. glowing. It's like I was glowing from within. Oh, I get why black people love this. Yeah. Like I used to put them and yo, my skin was right. skinning. Really? Yes. Hmm. So I'm like, oh, I get it now. I get it. But I stopped using it. I don't know. I can't remember if I ever used Vaseline. Yeah. Ever. I yo that glow was impeccable. My body was a good hey. Disco I don't ball. know why. Okay, maybe. But I get it. But you no, know, I'm. But not, not as we get like a certain age. I feel like you gotta like step up your skincare regimen. No, I, you yeah, know, more, you more preventative, so right? And what is the regimen? Would you say for a black person? Because no, I feel like sometimes I feel like the most basic thing that you can start with a cleanser, a cleanser that's specifically for your face. Mm-hmm. But there's different types. There's like creamy cleanser for like very dry skin. Mm-hmm. Then you have a gel. I like creamy cleansers in the winter time because I get a little dry in the winter. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I would double cleanse. I would do, like, a gel cleanse. No, sorry, not a gel. I would do a creamy oh, yeah. cleanser mm-hmm. or a balm cleanser. Mm-hmm. And then your second cleanse would be, like, your 
your main treatment like cleanser. Like the foams and all that stuff. Yeah, like okay. they have actives in it. Whatever, whatever your skin is targeting, I would do a, a cleanser for that. Okay. And second, I would do, it depends what age you are. I would say use an eye cream. I started using eye creams, y'all. Yeah, I've been using it since I was like 20 something. Oh, you started early. I started early, oh, okay. yeah. Um, and then I would say definitely a serum. Serums are your correctives. I love serums. And me too, yeah. So serums are great because it's small molecules, so mm. it penetrates deeper into your pores. Mm. So those are usually like your treatments, Yeah. right? And then I would say a really good moisturizer. And not a moisturizer that you just put on and it feels good for that moment. You mm. wash it off and it's like, wait, my skin feels dry. Mm. You want like a, a moisture that's actually going to like penetrate and, mm. and correct your skin, mm -hmm. you know? And then, of course, your SPF. I have reservations. But you don't wear SPF? Huh? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, so this is... I hope you put a cricket sound after that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I wear SPF on my face. Mm-hmm. Not on your body. Not on my body. Yeah, we got to do better. Me too. No. No? Okay, so years ago, because yeah. I'm big in skincare. Years right. ago, I used to wear a sunscreen, because, you know, that's how you wear sunscreen. Da, da, da. Right. And I wore it for months. Mm-hmm. And then I start having muscle issues. Oh. Like all down to my knee. Yeah. Got x rays. I'm like, something is wrong. I I'm can't walk. Bad. No, oh. I couldn't. No, I couldn't walk. My muscles, my muscles oh. was weak. I got x rays. There's nothing wrong with oh, me. Oh, wow. So my doctor then, he's Indian, um, mm -hmm. but he lived in, his family lived in Kenya for years. He's, and then he asked me, he said, Do you wear sunscreen? I'm like, Yeah. He said, You are darker skin, which means you have naturally. Your melanin count is so high that you naturally have a sunscreen. Cause he, he he said that. Yeah, he oh. said naturally, you for the body or for your the body, face? my body, just my body. Oh, not wearing, the face. Oh, okay, no, no, okay, I was okay. wearing it all over. Cause no, you used to wear sunscreen. I do, but only on vacations. My whole body. So yeah. I did it because summertime. He said, yeah, naturally you don't get a lot of vitamin D anyway because mm. of the higher melanin content. Right. Because you're darker. Right, right, right. You already right. block out a lot. So when you add oh. sunscreen, now you're really not getting really? vitamin D. That's why my muscles got weak. Oh, i never heard that before. Yeah, so my prescription, the prescription he gave me was for me to spend three three to four days in the sun for certain, several amounts of hours really? and take vitamin D. Oh, wow. And that's what got me back. My, and when I say I used to walk with a drag, I used to wow. drag my leg because my muscles are so weak. So ever since then, you just stop wearing. I don't wear my body on my face. If I put on a certain serum that has mm. vitamin C, I wear sunscreen because you know, like vitamin That's C. Say, yeah. yeah, if you, yeah, so I wear sunscreen, but put all mm. over my body. It's like after that, is, listen, I went to multiple yeah. X-rays. I'm thinking about, I don't really wear SPF on my body. Only when I'm on vacation. I mean, that's what you tell us to do. So that's what oh, I'm yeah, it's on vacation. Because I get burned, like, on my shoulders, oh, okay. my nose, stuff like that. Oh, okay, and yeah. I don't want to get, like, wrinkled in my body too early. Yeah. This Because yeah. remember, some some SPA, SPF um, protects you from UVA and UVB. Mm. So UVA is aging. Yeah. And UVB is burning. So oh, okay. I usually do... Um, mineral base SPF yeah. for the body. Yeah. In the face, period. Just mineral base. I've tried that one. It still broke me out. So that's another mm. issue I have with SPFs. It depends on. I've tried the minerals. I've tried. It depends the what brand. I don't know what. Yeah, I've tried. I don't know how they. Yeah. Like know. the. I think I just now. Well, I heard. I didn't. No, I read. It might be. I think it's true. Because. Folks in Africa, at least Ghana, don't get don't get no skin cancer. Okay, like that. okay. But we wear a lot of shea butter. Oh, and shea I, butter is also a natural, natural SPF. SPF. So yeah, a lot of times in the summertime, yeah, yeah. if ain't that, I wear shea butter. Right, okay. You know, um. Do you feel like that you burn faster? No. Okay, I, okay. I, don't, I never burn. I want to see. Oh, you never burn? No, oh, okay, okay. I need to try that. I'll I try it. I never burn. See what happens. And shea, shea moisture is a freaking beast. But it has to be like 100%. Yeah, yeah. shea moisture is, shea butter is a, you have a bump. Whenever I have a bump or a boil, because sometimes when I have to detox my body, I'll mm. get boils. Like, that's how my because mm. I don't sweat that much, mm -hmm. but that's what my body would tell me, hey, we need right. to detox. I put shea butter on, because it's a natural humectant. Um, mm -hmm. I put shea you butter. You know your stuff. I know my stuff. Just yeah. Just a, <laughs> a pro. Just a little bit. I put shea butter and it will extract the moisture oh, out. And literally, really? every bump that I have, yeah. just put shea butter on it oh. and it goes away. Oh, does it's, it work in your face too? Yes, and oh. it's not like let's say if I have my braids in for too long, I was talking about shea yeah, moisture, yeah. shea butter gets rid of you it. Keep saying shea moisture. I know, right? <laughs> Pay me. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but shea moisture, shea butter mm -hmm. would get rid of it, and mm -hmm. I'm like, it's natural, it's cheap, it's okay. Like, yeah. 
And I it's know. funny because back home, that was a poor man's lotion. Mm-hmm. So for yeah. it to be what it is now, I'm just like, I remember nobody want. You don't want to buy the hundred percent one. That's the usually thing. when parents come come back. Oh, they bring it. I bet you can you bring some. Shea oh, that's butter? good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? African Best makes great shea butter. Mm. Shea butter. Yeah, shea butter. Yeah, Afri- yeah. Africa's Best. Sometimes I get it from Marshalls like five dollars. It's so good. Oh. And it's it would say from Ghana. Oh, it does. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm gonna okay. Show you. And I sometimes I get it from yeah. Marshalls like five dollars. So yeah, that's, that's the regimen for y'all, okay? And okay, we're gonna keep put, it basic, yeah. We're gonna put her business down there because I mean, I'm sure right here. We need to give her more business, but she needs, <laughs> make sure you put it here. She needs Wednesdays off, off. <laughs> <laughs> okay? <Right. laughs> she needs business, but she needs days off. She needs Wednesdays I off, do. okay? But that I feel like that's because I love what I do. Like you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like I just love, I just love oh, it. Enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. How do you feel about all these people doing getting their license to be estheticians? Um, I think it's great, especially Keep it for. <laughs> I think it's great <laughs> because now we have options, right? Like, remember I mentioned 12, 13 years ago, mm-hmm. even even 14, 15 years ago, like there was no black estheticians, right? So I think it's great that we have options now. It's, a, mm-hmm. it's, it's available now. But I think that if it's not a passion and you're just doing it because it looks like it's like a. It's fun. Not a, what's the other word when something is like just trending? Like it's um, it's basically trending. Yeah, like I just feel like if it's not a passion of yours, then I just feel like you just be. don't just don't get into it. Don't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're here to help people build confidence, heal skin, things like that. And do you do? People, mm-hmm. Do you do Botox and all that stuff? No, I can't do Botox because I'm not a doctor. Uh. Yeah, I have an MD though, but I can perform the services. So uh, we did have an NP that was at the dad, and uh, this is deep, like for real. No, no, like this oh. is because you know sometimes a lot of people want to be a statistician because they want to do facials, but you oh, really no. like on some. Oh yeah, you have to go to school. <laughs> yeah, you have to be an NP. Wow. NP and um, or MD to perform. So that's why you see a lot of nurse nurse practitioners. Performing it because they are under a medical director. Oh, so you've so I'm able to perform like a medical spa because I have a medical director. So all of my treatments and my products that we are retails are medical grade because I have an MD. So so when you go back to like everybody's doing what you're doing, well, not really because there's different licenses and different no yeah i just right well no no one yes i'm just so my my products and my treatments are more medical yeah because i'm this is the thing this year i I made a i tried last year i failed Mm because i kept buying shoes but Mm -hmm. (laughs) this year i was like self-care oh yeah needs to be it right like for me and did you find that did you realize that now that you have a baby or before I f- nah, mm, both because okay. I was I just finished my master's good for you thank you so okay I was so, <laughs> I was so, you know what it's so I'm so shocking because like people post everything yeah and these are these are things to like brag about no okay 2020 after a lot happened 2020 mm-hmm. and one thing that God showed me like a lot of attacks that happened with me and my family God was showing me once again spiritual mm-hmm. attacks mm-hmm. connection a lot of stuff that you post. You don't know who's taking that picture, mm-hmm. putting on the shrine and doing any type of rituals. Mm-hmm. You don't know. And a lot of things I posted mm-hmm. got attacked. Mm-hmm. So from then I learned. I don't know if you I don't know if you realize, but I was off social media for like two years. No, did I I reached out to you every once like, yes, hey, you, you yes, good? She did. Everything yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> and nobody and know nothing. I'm like, you good knows. though, right? Like, yeah, yeah I'm good, I'm okay. Straight. Straight. Yeah, yeah. Like when I came back. Things were different though online, yeah, right? And God was just like, "Don't." Yeah. It's not everything you post. I know because you don't know who's for you and know who's against mm. you. I'll give you one. I never shared this one, but I'll give you my red, wedding ring. Right, gone. While I was pregnant, I took it off. I saw I'm gonna put it. Mm. And before then, and I think it's so weird. Before then, I went and got my nails. And I was posting it, and Holy Spirit told me, "Take the ring off." Mm. That's also big deals. Yeah. So what? Posted the, my nails with the ring there though. Like two days later, my mm. ring is nowhere to be found. Did you forget to put it back on? I don't know. No. Kevin, on. Kevin sent me a photo. Why is your ring off? I'm crying. Kevin. And I'm just like, no, but it was on the bathroom floor. I don't. I oh. said I don't know why it's on the floor. <laughs> I was washing my hair and I just yeah. No, my <laughs> ring is gone. Okay. And mm. I was like, and to this day, I think I mean it could be many reasons, but 
I remember God telling me, take the ring mm. off before you post that video. Mm. Before you take that video. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't listen. Same week, my ring was gone. Mm. I just said, hmm. So I'm very big on now not posting everything. Right. I share with my friends and family. Oh, the whole world don't need yeah. to know. Because, like, even folks didn't know I was pregnant for a very long time. Mm-hmm. If it wasn't for Damon, I probably would not. Oh, no, he, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> it was Damon. When, when, when it came out, I was yeah, probably Damon, like I think seven Damon months. Posts. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. he was excited. But of leave it course. to me, right? Leave it to me. Y- y'all just saw a little feet. Yeah, nobody would have. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what the You're heck? Right, yeah, you didn't post. Yeah, so yeah. that's another thing I learned. It's not... And Africans, back down, not because social media, we we're big on, oh, don't tell everybody everything because, you know, we understood what voodoo was. Right, You get right, what I'm saying? Because right. you give them, oh, this is your plan, bet. Let me go to Satan and figure out how we can make it right. not work, mm-hmm. right? So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, so got my master's. I was going, I was doing it while I was pregnant. Mm-hmm. I was working full time. That was yeah. a lot, okay. And it just through that, I'm just like, oh my gosh! Like every day, you're working, mm-hmm. you work, you mm-hmm. work, you work. I'm just like self care. Like right. you need. I've been to hearing do. a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. So and I'm about to some. There's a massage therapist. Well, she's not dating, but there's this massage place I go to Williamsburg. It's phenomenal. The lady that does it, she's no longer there, but she was amazing. I mean, something was a little off with her spirit, but <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? But she yeah. was, her hands was great, yeah. you know? I didn't realize until I was in there doing it. I was just like, wow. But the lady was like, um, you got a little bit of scoliosis going on because mm. your bags are too heavy. Oh. I was like. Uh, yeah, that's me. I'm a bag lady. Yeah. yeah. I'm a bag lady. Yeah. So I made it a thing to like every month mm-hmm. i yeah. have to get a massage i know so t- multiple things i said i was going to do for myself massage facial and i like what you said because i wasn't sure if i should do a monthly because i'm like i really don't need to do a monthly because yeah, some people feel that back way, yeah. to using good products for mm-hmm. I, I think and budget too sure yeah that <laughs> that part right yeah. Good product for your skin. So I'm like, so I, I do like that every seasonally doing. Mm-hmm. So I'm definitely going to be come, going to you for my seasonal self care. I mean, facial. Mm-hmm. I want that. Um, yeah. So that was apart from getting my nails and my hair and my thing. That even getting my hair done. I was never, mm-hmm. you know, because once again back to 2020. I'm like, yo, you could die tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And my mother always says she's a nurse, and she said usually when she have somebody that's old that's close to dying or is really really sick. When you ask, oh, what do you regret or wish? It's, it's never, I wish I made more money. Or I wish I got a bigger house. It's what usually people, say? I wish I took that woman serious. I wish I got mm. married. I wish I was there for my children. It, like, it was, it's always that. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Mm. That's, so that's a, Yeah, that's a lesson for me. So I don't really be that's big good. on like. I just want to pay my bills. Huh? I don't know. For me, it's just, I don't want to go backwards. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I think you have to find balance though. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I will. Yeah, you definitely will. But God, mm-hmm. I about- did. Just you know, everything in life is up and up. Yeah. 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 I'm just in a season of like figuring things out. Yeah. Being mm-hmm. that you've always been independent, doing your own thing, making your own money. Do you did you see? And you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Did that interfere or did that show up in your marriage? Did that yeah, I think so. Issue? I think so. Cause I feel like sometimes you know yeah. you kind of get oh I mean because you're so used to doing it on your yeah, own. Yeah, it does. It kind of shows yeah. up. Yeah. That's 100%. real. That's real. And how did yeah. you deal though? You still doing that? I still deal with it. <laughs> I still no, deal with but it. that's real because yeah. I feel like on social media, you know, we show mm-hmm. this beautiful marriage is beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Is it work? Yes. Mm-hmm. But we kind of show like, oh, everything's perfect. Nothing. No, it's work. Mm-hmm. And yeah. a lot of you come into the marriage, whether mm-hmm. if it's I'm used to doing everything for myself on my own, that's without, me. Yeah, yeah. or if it's I don't need you. I got this. That's me, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like for real. You mm-hmm. know, um, I had my issues and Damon had his issues. I'm sure Kevin had his mm-hmm. issues in the beginning. Well, because I was so used to doing things a certain way. So it's like, mm-hmm. wait, I have to consider you and your. I think that's why I work yeah. so hard because I know, like, I got me. Yeah. Like, no way else could. No way else got me. True. Like, there's no shoulder to lean on if I need help. If that makes sense. Got you. Yeah. So that's why I have to work like this. Yeah. But yeah. how how many how much of these thoughts and these thoughts and feelings you actually take to God like I right, got luck. Let's figure this out. Meaning like No, I know what you mean. Um uh, sometimes. 
Yeah. yeah. But you even trying to get that because a lot of it, a lot I of need times to go we, to God for everything. Yeah, yeah, I feel like a lot of it we carry. A I do, lot but I wait till I'm at the bottom. No, that's not. And then that's I should the first thing. I hate that. I'm like, God, I'm sorry. I know I come to you, like Bars. this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I know I need. Yeah. And I like I always feel guilty when I come to God like at my end. I'm like, cause I don't I don't know if I told you, but I had like a a, a meltdown. Oh. Maybe like I told you right? No. no? Like three weeks ago, I've never experienced this before. Mm. Like after um, homegirl left. No, 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 no. Oh, girl, she don't have that much control over me now. <laughs> it's expensive. No, 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 no. I was just like trying to figure out like what I'm doing, like mm-hmm. just life. So I called my mom. I was like, Mom, like, I gotta get my phone on. So I'm like, Ma, like, I'm tired of, of being like the strong person. Like, mm-hmm. I'm tired of like being superwoman. Like, mm-hmm. I wanna be vulnerable. I wanna be transparent. I just wanna be like, I need help. Yeah. I told my mom that. And then I don't know, I just was like crying all that night. The next morning, literally got the shower. This part doesn't just be in there if you don't want it to. I don't care. Crying in the shower, crying in the bed. Mm. I was like, Kevin, take the kids to school. I can't. I can't. It was so bad. Like dark thought, dark thoughts, and I'm just like, I don't know. Yeah, just, and I just feel like it's just a lot. Yeah, and because like, you're carrying all of this by yourself. Yes, I was you? like, yeah. So I was like, Mom, like, I just want to be like, I need help. There's people, like, help me. Can somebody help me? <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah, but I'm just, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no. But I'm just saying, in, in general, like, just want help. Yeah. Like, I'm doing everything. Have so. you ever, asked, do you usually ask for help? Who, to God? No, you. Oh. Just anybody. Did you ever usually? Not really. I do. Like, mm-hmm. like, I tell, like, my mom and some people, like, help me. But everything, people, people, like, not not knowing the specific, but I feel like in general, people move when it comes to money. Like, mm. you be like, hey, I'll pay you. So I'm used to, hey, I'll pay you to help mm. me. I'll pay you to, mm-hmm. I don't know, whatever. I yeah, feel like yeah. that, that moves But it's people. not genuine heart. But I want, want people to you. be like, what do you need? Like, do you need me to wash the linens at, the, at your shop? Do you want me to wash your laundry at home? Like, mm. I just want help. Yeah. <laughs> like, just help. So I just had like a total meltdown and I was like, this is not me. Like when I tell you so bad, my clients would come in like, are you okay? Cause my eyes mm. are so puffy. Mm. And, I, and I'm like literally doing lashes, crying. Like, Kadeen, I'm so sorry. They don't, they, they don't see me, but like I, they, they hear me. And like, mm. I'm so sorry, Kadeen. So but I didn't want to talk about it cause I didn't really know what it was. Yeah. Just like, this is You're so lot. Yeah, but I've never been in that space before. It's, but you just said you go to God when you reach the bottom. Yeah, that I, was was like, I was like, God, yes, yes. And that was the second time that happened yeah. to me. I think you need to get into the practice of prayer Speaking prayer, of- and also asking God I to come a- in. Because I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. I know parenting is hard on what they say. And it could be that we have a really chill child. But honestly, it has, it's a breeze right mm-hmm. now for us. Mm-hmm. It's been a breeze because we go to God for everything. Mm-hmm. I know. I need to get better at that. No, like sir, everything. God, mm-hmm. we need this. We need. And do you wait to hear like an answer? Um, depends on the situation, right? Um, like for instance, we was t- doing the whole daycare thing. Mm-hmm. I personally did not want to do daycare. Mm-hmm. I don't. I, I don't. I just don't. I don't trust it. I'm nervous. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I got nervous. I started to lean on my own understanding. Mm-hmm. I started to try to figure it out on my own. Got anxious, got scared, crying. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm trying to say? I said, I got it. We're going to go to this one place. Mm-hmm. If it's your will for him to be at this daycare, let him be who he is, free and talking, mm-hmm. and not talking, but play all the kids, play with the people. But if it's not where he needs to be or he don't need to do this, let him be reserved. Mm. Let him not even. Oh, yeah, yeah. And just when exactly reserved. Mm. Don't even. I, oh, you, he's not like that, right? He's not like that. Oh. So it's like sometimes you have to pray specific prayers. Mm-hmm. Some situation requires you to wait and listen for God to show. And when you when that specific prayer is so, so important. Mm-hmm. Like, God, if you really want me to do this, let's let. The light blink no, three times. No, it happened. Yeah, he is. I know. I know. Those days, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And it's so sometimes you got those situations, you get your answer right there. And some things require times, and you just have to one be your be um listen, wait, be obedient, mm-hmm. and keep keep watch, because he's going to let you know what his answer is. Mm-hmm. You get know what I'm saying? But it has been a breeze for us because we've been going to God for everything. God, mm-hmm. we need this. God, we need that. I need to work on that. Yeah. But everything, my marriage, he, everything. Everything, everything. Yeah. Your kids, your No, marriage, I know, because yeah. like, I'm so, like, gun ho on, like, my business, 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 because that's all, like, 
You know what it is? Because that's like my biggest accomplishment. And that's what I'm like so like focused right. on. So um, I like I forget like, okay, I have a family. I have that's a husband. That's an accomplishment. Be married with kids. That's Absolutely. Because accomplish. these are things that I prayed for. Remember yeah. I told you there was a second time that I had a meltdown. Mm. And the first time was in my shop by myself. And I was tired of people coming in my shop saying, oh, you're single. Like I got somebody. They always want to hook me up with somebody. <laughs> always. And what I got tired of was dating and sleeping around mm -hmm. and i didn't like the feeling that i felt after, after yeah because you felt robbed <clears throat> so then i was just like you know um god like i'm like tired like <laughs> yeah. like i've been doing this and i was like 30 at that time mm -hmm. going out there i was like god like i've been doing this what how old do i look black though <laughs> wait, 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 wait hold on we don't run the same age I'm well, I ain't 40. No, I know that. I'm oh. 33. So. Gee. <laughs> I gotta go to the day and get me a facial because what? So I was like. Um, go do this off camera. <laughs> so I was like, oh, thank you. Wow. But you don't see the grace coming Girl, do you see I my grace? No, it's stress. It's, no, for me, it's stress. My sister's genetics. Yeah. I've been having grace since high school. I say stress, but my, my French told me, she's like, Kadeen. She's 30. She's about your age, too. She's like, Kadeen, you're stressing. I said, does she know it? I'm like. A little bit older than her, like that's why I have. Yeah, I think you turned a certain age and you. But you anyway, gotta find your age. Wait a minute. <laughs> but I've been having great oh, oh, since y'all. Um, pray to God about every. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, but, uh -huh. So I'm like God, like I've been doing it my way for so long. Like, I'm tired of sleeping around things mm. like that. I said God, and I was crying. I was mm. like God, like. I am going to do it your way. I'm saving myself a marriage. Mm -hmm. I, and in my mind, I'm like, this is impossible because it's like, everybody, all men want to have sex. Like, for real. Like, mm -hmm. I was like, there's no way I'm going to date and a guy's going to wait until we get married. Yeah. And then boom. Kevin. I met, yeah. I met Kevin, my husband. And he said, I'm going to wait. And he said to me, how fun. do you feel about saving yourself a marriage? And I was like, what? Man. Oh, I God. know. Hey, Kevin. <laughs> and I was like, Wow. I was when like, I of course, yeah. I yeah. was like, yeah. And he was like, and how do you feel about me and a pastor once a month to be accountable for us? And I was like, what? yeah, this is different. Yeah. I said, God, I've been dating the same type of guys, just different names. I need something okay. different. I was like, I need something different. I'm going to do things differently now. And this was different. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is different. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I'm down. I'm down for that. And then I had shared, um, what's that guy named? Um, Tori Roberts. He has a mm -hmm. YouTube channel. Um, finding your soulmate. It was, mm. I think it was like seven, eight signs of your soulmate. Mm. And I shared that with him. And it's so good. Mm. And one of them was obviously like being an attractive person, but that wasn't the main one. Mm -hmm. So we watch it. And then he said to me, "We, need, I want to fast mm. in order for us to like move on and like for me to court you. Like I want to fast and I want divine confirmation. Because mm -hmm. Tori Roberts kept stressing that divine confirmation. Mm. And we went through a weird time. We was fasting for a week. I felt like I got my answer from God already. <laughs> and I had to wait for him to get his. He said, well, I, I didn't get mine yet. Okay. Okay. But, so what happened was for me, it was weird. And you're a beautiful woman. He could have been like, you know what, God, look, I'm, I'm going to go with this one. Oh, I'm no. Okay. He was like. He was on it. He was, yeah. He was not so, playing. I hear that. We, so, so we fasted and, and it was this one night that it was like, I don't know, four o'clock in the morning. And my, I heard a knock on my window. I woke up. Okay, there Romeo. There was nothing. It was nothing. Oh, shoot. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it was nobody. Wow. And then my phone rings, and it's Kevin. And Kevin was like, I said, wait, what happened? He said, you just called. I said, I, I never called you. I was like, I literally woke up because I heard something on my window. And he was like, no, you called me. I'm looking. I'm like, I never called you. That's so he crazy. was like, wait a minute. I know what this is. I'm going to go into prayer. I was like, he is the one. <laughs> I was like, what? so that was my sign. Okay. That was my sign right there. So then his sign was, I have a, fr a best friend. She's Haitian. And mm -hmm. I've been friends with her since eighth grade. Mm -hmm. And she, me and her, she had an emergency C-section. So she okay. haven't been the same ever since. She's like, oh, wow. like a, she's almost like a paralyzed a little bit. <gasps> yeah, like she's- C-section? Emergency, yeah, from down, uh, downstate. Oh, Jesus, not that place. So I think I saw you post about her before. Yeah. I thought she was born with that. Are no, you freaking this kidding my, me? My friend, my best friend. If you saw her, you saw me. Like we were like this. So I used. What I the hell did they do? I'm so sorry. Something bad. I don't know. I remember walking in and I see her lay down and they pumping. I was like, it was crazy. 
I think her family got um they 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 have a lawsuit like they won money. As they should. But it's not enough. It's not she can enjoy she, it. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. So it's yeah. bad. So she haven't been the same ever since. I used to go visit her every single Sunday. And once I got married, had kids, I like stop. So he always tell me this up to now. Like one thing that I admire from you is that you used to go visit your friend every Sunday. Yeah. And he said when he saw how, how I cared for her and mm-hmm. visit her, the way she was, he was like that. That was his confirmation. Mm. I don't know. Maybe he can explain it better. But he felt like that was his confirmation, mm-hmm. his divine confirmation to be with me. Because mm-hmm. he saw how, like, the for love others. for her that I had for her. Like, someone that was so sick and I was mm-hmm. my friend and how I was still there for her. Mm-hmm. So that was his confirmation. But mm-hmm. mine was that prayer. Because I never had a guy pray for me before. Mm-hmm. And that weird. And it was weird. In the yeah. I thought he was trying to be like Romeo. Mm-hmm. And you know. It was weird. So that was it. Wow. And once that happened, it was like, okay, I'm going to, you know, we're going to start. So now let's, yeah, let's cherish this. Oh, yeah. wow. Mm-hmm. So that's yeah. how I tell people, like, you know, like, you just have to have patience. I feel like if you're not meeting the per- the right person, like, you're just not ready. Like, God's saying, yeah, like, you're not ready. You like, know the question I ask myself? And I ask my friends this when they're complaining or irritated or frustrated. I'll ask, like, if you was the guy that you want or dream about, mm-hmm. would you marry you? No, like, I told Kevin right. My, I don't want Carson to meet no one like me. Oh. I already told Kevin <laughs> that. <laughs> nah, mm-mm. but because it's like when I ask, him, would you marry you? And if it's a no, then maybe that just tell you there's things nah. you need to work on. That was my thing when I asked myself that question. I said, no, I want to marry me right now. I said, oh why? Because I'm impatient. I said, oh, so we need to work on all these things. So you can't get mad. God, why are you taking so long? You're not ready. So the good thing about my situation is. Mm. I am just like my husband, mom. <laughs> I am her. Mm-hmm. So Kevin, he knows how to deal with me. Mm. And he sent you who? Yeah, he know God. I am literally Miss Joseph. Really? <laughs> <laughs> and our birthdays are eleven days apart. You go? Yeah, you go back to the astrology thing. No, just oh, our okay, birthday. Okay, just September. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> September. Yeah. Really? really? Like yeah. Even when she like interact with her husband, when she get annoyed, I'm like. I'm the same way, oh, wow. but I guess Kevin don't take offense to it because like he's, he's so used. used to- yeah, so I lucked out. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I'm such a nice person. I have a good heart. She is funny too. Yeah, I have a good heart. <laughs> no, she does. Every time play, she does. It's just like every time I, I feel like every time I was reading your Instagram it was always like what bad good. So it's always about friendships. Yeah, no, I, I don't. Uh, that's my challenge for years. I saw the eyebrow, you fix it, you're like. <laughs> yeah, because I, I know. I've never had a sisterhood. Because, and remember, I think I, when I texted you a while ago, for about a, I don't say a year, but towards the end of last mm-hmm. year, every it would be random, 6 o'clock in the morning, 3 o'clock in the morning. Kadeen Joseph. Kadeen. Oh, Kevin. me? Yeah, I just come to mind. Oh, yeah. Like, reach out to them or. I'm just like, but it was specifically you. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, so I'll pray for you. I'll pray for you, Kevin. Well, I'll pray. I'm just like, okay, I don't know what's up. But I felt like I was telling me, no, I want you mm-hmm. to be friends with her for real. Like, you could be I my need- friend. <laughs> I need friend. I need Christian friends. No, but like. Pray for me. <laughs> love on me. And but appreciate like, me. That part, because you're always, somebody's always using me. you for No, something. just appreciate like, I want to be around people that I can be myself. Yeah. Like, I can laugh. I can yeah. be dumb. I can say dumb stuff. Yeah. I'm not the I'm not the smartest person. I can say, like, like you know, I just don't want no like no judgment. Yeah. And that's why. But I um, think that's what makes you funny, though. Yeah, but at the same time, like, I just feel like when people see some... I'm going to say me. I'm talking about me. When people see me, and my friend kind of confirmed this yesterday. When mm-hmm. people see me, they think something of me. Like, they think, oh, she bougie. She thinks you're a lad. Like... They no, right. not all that, but they think like I'm a certain type of person, and when they get to me, like, oh, she ain't, she, ain't, she, she wag, like she not, oh for real, like she not like us, she ain't like, oh, like that, oh. like you know, like I feel yeah. like they see you and they judge you based on how you look, how you dress, oh. and things like that, your business and stuff like that. But then when they get to know you, like she's super down to earth, like she's, yeah. she's like she's, you know, yeah. And um, I feel like people don't get the time; the they don't give me the time to like get to know mm. me. And as far as friends, I feel like friends don't give me the opportunity to be a friend. Mm. Like I don't, I never had an opportunity to show up as a yeah. friend and oh, be there okay. for a friend. 
Oh wow. Yeah, I I realized that. So I never had an opportunity to like be a friend to anyone. Oh wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Never yeah. heard that. Yeah, because I'm like, I think I'm like, yeah, I just interesting that's crazy and it's yeah. funny because you have some people just like, i just wish i had a friend that could be there for me and you like i i don't love i to never do had no because i like there's a there's like a few handful one or two people i would call and talk to mm. but i feel like they're always there for me mm. but i was like do you i said who do you call when you yeah, need someone you need they're them. like oh i talked to but i realized i'm not that person that they will call and mm. be there like oh, for me to for me well, to be think, there for them do you think they, do you think they think that you're too busy I don't know what it is. I wish I knew. Mm. I don't know. Because sometimes I would, because I remember, so not friend, but my co-teacher, I was like, she's like super overwhelmed this week. And I was like, bro, mm. let me help you out. Like, I understand I have my own class. And all yeah. that stuff. He said, yeah, but brother, you busy. I'm like, mm. yeah, but that could be I it, can yeah. help. I'm busy. I could still carve out time to help you because mm. you stressing for what? And we're supposed to do this as a team. Stop trying to carry the load by mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. Give me, and I'll help you out. Right, she's right. Like, you're right, you're right. I was like, I know what I was getting into. Like, right. I can help you out. So right. sometimes it's not necessarily to feel like they can't trust you or they can't come to you for help. Sometimes just, not no words said, but just how your life is, it might be like, she's too busy. I don't want to bother her. That could be it too. And yeah. I realized most recently I didn't need to work on my resting face. I, I'm black. I don't, I give up on that. No, I realized that that's why I'm not approachable. So now I work on like... <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. This is me all day. I keep this. No, like, literally. like, And it works for me. Because if not, I'm like, dead. But that's me every day, though. I, and I'm like, why am I not approachable? And I realize, I just realized that. It's my resting face. Oh. It wow. works now. Even at my business. I, I always go to the business. Oh, I hate that. But, like, I realize in my everyday, like, just dealing with people. Wow. That's what you go with. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's, it's little things but I've realized yeah, it makes a yeah, it's helping yeah. cause other than that I'm like and I realized like my mom had the same thing she has like a serious face yeah and I realized I'm the same way yeah I naturally have a serious face and people tell and me like, like I'm just serious yeah and people try people tell me my, my principal just told me the other day I said Miss oh cause I'm, they know I'm, I'm the class clown Miss mm -hmm. oh I said yeah I be joking around I was like Miss oh no you always you always look serious I'm like Walking around, sir, but I got 10 jokes in my head. Just, mm -hmm. I'm just, you know, but I get it. But yeah, I just felt like I was just telling me that's what, even when I was like, yo. And you see, I'm in a lot of like groups. Yeah, yeah. No. That's why I was, I was confused. Mm -hmm. I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna figure that out. Because mm -hmm. everybody needs somebody. Um, yeah. No, we do. Yeah. Like, we need that community. There's no one to really, like, who do you sit and be transparent with? Like, let me tell you, you have good friends, okay? I do, thank you. You do. I do. Thank we'll God. talk about that later, but you have good friends. I feel like there's no one I can trust and sit and, like, really talk and yeah. know that what I'm saying to you is just going to stay right here. Yeah, yeah. And, and you're not going to judge me. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Especially this day and age when it, but I feel like in the Christian community, though, we like to play this. Oh, everything is great. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah, I know. Oh, oh but yeah. I remember when I went to BT. I'm not going to say the names, but I yeah. went to BT. A lot of people kind of judge me from mm -hmm. how I, mean, I, I was. Know. I don't know. But how, a lot of people. was you? Oh, me. Oh, okay, okay. I said, <laughs> I'm like, what happened? I was just me. Oh, like and that. Those beats, those, like a yeah, little yeah. shade on, like, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm going to pray for you. I didn't ask for your prayer. But guess what? The guys, they don't do that. The guys could talk regular. No, right. All, like, but the females, I know. But it, so, me being me, a lot of people kind of looked at me like, oh, I need Jesus for real because mm -hmm. this girl's off the chain. But I was me. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? And I never, because I'm not about to front for you, mm -hmm. niggas. Like, you're a human. Like, mm -hmm. what can you possibly do for me? So, it's like, I come to church to put on a front and God really know who I am. Mm -hmm. I'm not playing this fake game. Right, right. You get what I'm saying? So, I was always me. And I kind of, kind of got to judge whether if it's mm -hmm. non-verbal or verbal right. for being, yeah. I guess outrageous and not the typical church girl. Right. So I think sometimes a lot of times as believers, you want to play put on the facade yeah. of like, and that don't work for me. Right. And my friends, I remember me and Ariana became friends because one time I was just talking to my friend, being real, real like, yo, how long is this journey going to take? I'm ready to go mm -hmm. home. My feet hurt. Being myself, she's like, I like you. <laughs> and she was like, we should be friends. And we've been friends since. I was being. <laughs> Blunt Berta, mm -hmm. who was fed up with something, you know. But I think we need to create that environment where people should just be. Because we be the mm -hmm. same ones complaining about, 
oh, these people fake church people. Mm -hmm. But then you don't even allow people to be real and be themselves. They complain about them being fake. Like, what do you want? That's true. That's true. true. (laughs) Can people just be? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm walking around with a freaking serious face because I'm pissed off. Mm -hmm. So what? I'm human. I'm going to praise this Lord. I'm going to praise the Lord and still be pissed off. Just don't talk to me today. Right. Yeah. But that's, I don't, yeah. Other than that, I don't have like a circle of friends. Yeah, you need that. We all need that. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. We do. Uh, okay. But then that's something else that, that's going to take away from like family and me being there. Like I'm already busy. I think it's like, but am, we, am we, I busy? Because we can make time for what but we, we want. But yeah. you, that's time for family, yeah. husband, children. But yeah. you need, because I would say this, think about it. That's uh, Everything God did, everything Jesus was an example for us. Mm-hmm. It couldn't just been. It could have just been God. Mm-hmm. God creating the heavens and the earth mm-hmm. just by Himself. But you know, it was God. It was the Holy Spirit, and it was Jesus. It right. was a community. Mm-hmm. It was a Trinity. Right. The Trinity is not there alone to just help us and guide us. But the Trinity is also to tell us the importance of community. Right. Right. And I remember I was watching this guy. This, this guy. He was a which he was a Satanist, mm-hmm. and, and he was like a lot of times place they could have attacked was because. There was a community mm. that was praying. Mm-hmm. So if you are on the attack, if you are under attack, I'm praying for you. Let's say Ari is praying for mm-hmm. your group of friends are praying for you. Mm, that like attack that. would not go that far because you got people guarding you. you. Hey guys, pray for me. I'm praying. I'm praying. Nobody ain't praying. You just right now. <laughs> usually, praying. usually, right. And I used to be like that, but you know what I started doing? What? When I see that text, I'll pray first and then respond. Hmm. Because when you do, I'm praying, you really don't pray. Yeah. So it's like, before I respond, I'm praying, I actually do pray and then pray. Because mm-hmm. we kind of get into just, oh, yeah, no, I'm for real. I'm praying for you. No, yeah. no, no. I'm praying, then mm-hmm. I'm praying. But we, yeah. we, we all need that. We need that circle of friends. It doesn't have to be many, as you, you can see. I don't have that many. Mm-hmm. Associations? Associations? Yes, yeah. Mm-hmm. I have that. Associations? No problem. But the real, real friends, I, I can count on my hand. And I'm okay mm-hmm. with that. Mm-hmm. You don't need a bunch. Right. You just need a good quality. I have a lot of people that I know, mm-hmm. and I remember one time I actually did a test. I'm, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be intentional. Mm-hmm. And I have, I chose a name per week mm-hmm. to text. Hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Just reaching out. Oh, my God, because they haven't heard from you. How you doing? Blah, blah, blah. Just checking in. Did it for like a few months. I stopped, and I was like, let me see. Who's going to check in? Girl, nobody texts me. <laughs> so... So when somebody texts and be like, hey, I'm thinking about you, how you mm. been? That means a lot. Mm. Because it's like, it's not because they saw me write something yeah. sad or yeah. they know something is going on mm. with me. It's like, I'm just, hey, because people come around when there's something. Yeah, there. yeah. So, um. That is a fact. It's annoying. Mm-hmm. It's like, why Trust. are you around now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. So when people reach out to me genuinely, that means a lot. Yeah. And it doesn't happen often, but it's like, I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Maybe just the world. Everybody just into themselves. That too. Yeah. Um, and that's what your husband said. Like he trying to create like, you know, things to do now. Like to like gather and get together. Yeah. Because that's what we used to do. Yeah. Nobody does these things now. No. no. Everybody's so isolated. Very isolated. So, and a lot of people are going through so much individually and do not. Before we used to be, be able to keep each other accountable, pray for each other. But if you're off to yourself and it. You get an attack by yourself. You mm-hmm. just taking hits all day mm-hmm. by yourself mm-hmm. with nobody helping you mm-hmm. out. You get what I'm saying? That's why, like I said, we went to that whole... And God, this is something God put on our heart. It's not because, oh, we saw such good people that we thought... Mm-hmm. No, we have to give credit to God. He mm-hmm. put on our heart to do this. Right, right, you know? right. Uh, so it's like, that's the purpose of even the game night and doing dinners because it's like... Yeah, that community literally. needs to come it's back. It's important, I know. It but no one do that. But then it's sad because like you'll, you'll plan it and no one else does after that. So it's like only when like... Because they yeah. were being kept, we planned something. It's like, well, we didn't do this like a year ago. Let's yeah. plan it now because no one else is doing it. Yeah. But you know what? I'm okay with us doing it. Because we have this space. Why not? Mm-hmm. You know? Right. Even if we have, we have to keep doing it for three, four years, that's right. fine. Yeah. I enjoy it. He enjoy it. We enjoy it. Yeah. You know? And great conversations have come right, out right, of it. Right. So it's like, why not? Right. Exactly. And if that inspires other people to do it, great. Mm-hmm. Keep it going. Right. It's not like, oh, you have to be a mom. No, I don't care. Keep it going. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just because, yeah. But this yeah, was guys. Good. This was good, guys. Yeah. You need a community. We're going to link for that. Mm-hmm. She gave you a nice regimen for free. Yes, I charge for that. Yeah, free information. <laughs> okay. Um, What else do you give us? Yeah, the importance of balance. 
Yes, and trusting God with your mate. Okay, mm -hmm. with your mate. Mm -hmm. And also letting, l leveraging your work and your load to God. Let yeah. him handle that. Right, right. Really that was lean, a big one. Yeah, lean, just lean on him to mm -hmm. to, to figure just it out. Trusting him. His burden is like, you trying to do it by yourself is just, right. you cannot, you don't have the capacity to do that. No, you don't. You don't. Oh, you know what image I just got? Remember when Jesus was carrying his cross and he kept falling? Mm -hmm. And he had somebody come and help him? That was I don't know. Okay. No. So when he kept falling with the cross, it was too heavy. He's Jesus. He could have really just one finger. Yeah. But he was also exemplifying. Who was him? When he's when he was carrying his cross? I don't remember that. I, I know that. I just don't know Yeah, before they hung him up. So he's carrying the cross and he would fall because it was too heavy. He's tired. He's beaten up. Yeah. And some people came and helped him carry the cross for a little bit. And then they got tired. And he, that was just exemplified also. We need help. We need help. Yeah. It's so funny. You mentioned, like, I was reading that story to my daughter mm. yesterday. And we were reading it. And she was like, Mommy, I want to cry. Oh. I know. That was so sweet. Oh, my God. Yeah. She's like, look, mommy. I need to meet her. She sounds yeah, so I was sweet. Showing her the, 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 yeah, you know, thorn, the, the thorn in his yeah. head, what they was hitting him yeah. with. And I, mommy, I'm so sad. I want to cry. I was like, oh. I don't know, but it's okay because he died for our sins. Right. And she was like, Yeah, he loves us. Yeah. I know. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Raise up a child the way they should go, they, so they will know yeah. the part. But yeah. nah, for real, we need that community because God, if Jesus said we need it, we need it. Yeah. You can't be on some. I'm independent. I don't need mm. you do. We all need it. Put in that right, right. We do. Mm -hmm. I don't care how strong you are. We do. Even him being Jesus, both man and God, still needed that help right. from people. So, exactly. who are we? So, get you a good circle of friends that follow God for real, for real. Love you for real, for mm -hmm. real. Not to just love you because... Opportunists. Opportunists, yeah. You give the money or whatever heck people whatever do. Whatever it is, yeah. Okay. Um... Don't come love me because I cook you food. I'm joking. But, um. Oh, wait, cause, cause I'm coming back to <laughs> No, but seriously, be a good friend and. Be yeah, a look good for person. that. Yeah, be a good, good person. Just look for that community. Trust God. Keep him first. For, okay? Keep him first. Go to him first. This is great. <laughs> Kadeem for y'all. She's going to tell me her age after we're done. I want to know. Listen, but, I'm 32. Younger than her. <laughs> nah, I got more grades than her, but nah. <laughs> But this was good. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we are going to tag her information. So if you're looking for a new facialist, what I call you facialist? No, esthetician. Esthetician. If you're looking for a new esthetician, have anything problematic mm -hmm. with your skin or whatever the case may be, like she said, she's MD. So she have a lot. No, of, I'm not an MD. No, not you being an MD, but oh. you have the what's it, the MD. Well, we well yeah. Oh, MD product. Yeah, no, product. medical grade product. Medical, yeah, 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 medical grade product. So she mm -hmm. can really help you out. Medical grade product, pharmaceutical. Yeah. and all natural. Yeah, and she's a believer, so you don't have to worry mm -hmm. about her spot getting saged and oh, yeah, incense. No. You, you gonna get yeah. gospel music and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, you will. Okay. And gospel jazz. Ooh. While you get yeah, I change nice. it now. Yeah. Oh, you get a little spicy. No, with the facials, gospel jazz. Oh, they got that? Yeah. Oh, I got to look that up. Yeah, you That do. sounds so good. I play yeah, it in my classroom. Good. Yeah, it's good. Oh. I do that in my classroom. Oh, nice. So, so I play like I'll share with you. Yeah, yeah, thanks. So I hope you guys enjoy. Have a blessed day. We're going to finish this food because... Yes, we are. Yeah. It's not going to go to waste. <laughs> if anything, I'll take it with me. <laughs> She's going to eat in the car. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy. Have a blessed one. And yeah, let's have a conversation at the bottom. You know, how are you balancing your life? And I hope you have a great week. All right. Bye. Toodles.